Just, I was the one doing the independent shows, broom, broom, broom. Yeah. So I was the guy being, hey, bro, can I get on your show? Man, bro, what I got to do? Hey, bro, what I got to do? That ain't some shit I was getting 10 plus years ago. But I was the one putting his money where his mouth was and created a platform that motherfuckers wanted to be on. Yeah, fact. It was the platform to be on. You see what I'm saying? So the fail back really came from, oh, okay, they turning on because a lot of the rappers, I became the nigga. And that was another thing, bro. I'm a responder. That's what I had to get better at, too. I had to learn to just be quiet. But I was a responder. Hey, man, everybody in Nashville know you got to come at me. I'm coming straight back at you. If you are live, subscribe. Um, I want to take a second. I usually come in and ask people, you know, to subscribe and all that. But I want to take a second, second, man, to uh, lift up Marquis Callaway, man. Uh, a Nashville native uh, you know everybody always throw legends out and we just think it's always talking about the rap community but it's also guys that's legend hood wise that has you know has served the community good every time you seen him he had a smile on his face you know what I'm saying and uh, so I just want to lift him up and his, his sister Kiana Calloway and, and and the family, man, because we lost we lost a great person, man. That 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 really, when you see him, it's it's, it's love, it's a smile. And so again, man, shout out to Marquis, man. I know where you're going. You was pointing up where you was going, but uh, today, man, I want to. Uh, if you're gonna win in 2024, you have to clear the energy. Like you have to be around the the good energy. And I say like. Um, I don't, I, I don't really respect you no more. If you hang around the bad energy, the, the people that you know has done nothing but tear down the community or or ha, has has did nothing to bring people together. And just some people, they think because you are a caliber, like you special and you can kind of do whatever you want to do and not and not get with the it's a it's a lot of us guys out here. We are really 100 percent getting together having each other back and really trying to make things move in the podcast world, uh, just in the business world in general. So, man, I, I just totally know if if you around the negative ending in 2024, you just ain't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to make it. I, I, I tell people all the time, uh, I have been through everything that most people want to do. Like sometimes you got to take your own credit for yourself because it's so many people that know you out here and they could easily point and say, hey, man, he's a good dude or, you know, go work with him or, you know, you know, go do something with him, support him. But we just live in a, a black man society because it's not going on with the women and it's not going on with the kids and and they're supporting each other that's how they platforms and everything they doing content wise is blowing up because they're actually supporting each other but it's something like with the with the black dudes man it's always a it's always a hate or you know some people we, we can't even get past the uh in my sense the nashville level of compete with nashville like it's nothing to compete with if you're competing with people in your own town. And so so for me, uh, I have done so much for the Nashville community. Uh, I have done so much for the rap community. I have done so much for the Young Bucks. I have done so much for the East Wickets. Uh, uh, shout out to Elroy Boy here today. Um, Billboards, I have done that, and I know everybody has done that, but uh, sometimes we on the other side of rap, we don't get the proper credit to what we actually do. Um, I, my whole career, I, I owe two people. I owe C. Good $6,000. I'm going to still pay him. Even though that was back, it was street, whatever. I, I owe him. I owe your guy the $1,500 on the show that that, that flopped. Like, um, I got a conscience. And for, and, and for me, if I feel like I owe somebody, I always want to feel that way. I don't want to never feel like, oh, that uh, and it could have been a long time ago. But that's just the person who I am. who I am. You know what I'm saying? And so for, for the Nashville community, like, 
I have done a lot to support you guys. You know what I'm saying? And shout out everybody that's has supported me, but uh, I, I don't get enough credit. Buck, you ain't never went on your thing and said, hey, man, P done this. P got me a verse with Drake or P did a fabulous show with me. P got me a billboard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't hear you other guys uh, going on there and saying, man, P, paper, paper, fuck with me. I, 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 I did one of his first mega shows. You know what I'm saying? And I, I've been in the community for so long. And, um... I'm not asking for no flowers. I always say, if you want some flowers, die. You're going to get a bouquet of them. You're going to get all the flowers you want. I'm not asking for no flowers, but um, I am asking for you to support the guys that's actually doing the work for Nashville and just not yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, sh again, shout out to everyone, the boy, man. I want to uh, prank my own man. Uh, sorry for the introduction, man, but uh, I just want to thank you for the stuff that you do, and we'll get in that for the community. But what's going on with you, man? How you been? Oh, I've been out the way, me, man. man. I've been out the way. I've been out the way, man. Just been uh, I've been out the way, man. I just I just been looking, been observing, still locked in, paying attention. Look, but uh, I've been uh, I just been out the way, doing what I do. It's uh, it's two disappointments that happened yesterday. Disappointments? It's two disappointments that happened yesterday. What's that? And I'm going to talk about the first one. Denver ain't it. Denver? Denver ain't it, bro. LeBron got out there and bullied them folks. They lost. <laughs> LeBron got out there. Air Water Boy, you in sports. That's what you do. That's yeah. one of your things. Yeah. You know what's... What is wrong with LeBron team? I'm I'm, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna ask you that. What's wrong with the team? What's wrong with the team? What's going on? Man, you know this shit fixed, man. This shit fixed. It's a fixed game. You think so? Yeah, it's a fixed game. You know. Uh, but what's wrong with the team? I mean, you know, it ain't. Uh, I mean, you know, LeBron, bro, yo, bro, he can't he can't carry a team. Yeah, fact. Like he used to. I mean, he still can do what he do. He Bron, but uh, he ain't carrying the team like he used to, and uh. Uh, the player that they uh count on to carry the team, which is AD, he just ain't he ain't doing it to people like us right now. But other than that, bro, like that's a, you know, when we talking Laker, yeah, Laker teams, yeah. that's 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 about as mediocre as you gonna get outside of the big names in LeBron and AD. And some, you know, with AD, he ain't really just living up to the up to up to the AD. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Just but saying you know, LeBron, LeBron just at that age, homie, and he, you know, and he don't even have to. He's doing way more than you can expect somebody to do at his age. Good, good job. So yeah, that's just a mediocre team around. Is Denver the team? Is Denver the it team? Because they, to me, it looked like Denver ain't nothing. No, Denver, Denver the it team, bro. They, 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 they the reigning champs. You can't say that they, they, they ain't it. Because when it's time to, and you know, with these sports nowadays, bro, it's just like special team. But I'm not even a fan of the NBA. Okay, okay. I'm not yeah, a fan. That, I'm not okay, a fan. Okay, you really okay. asking the wrong guy, but okay. I'm a gambler, you, so I know enough. That's what I you know. What I'm you know what I'm saying? I but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan yeah. of the NBA at all, okay. bro. Like I ain't, I ain't really with the how they sit out and all oh, this and that. It, it's bad for the game. NBA, NBA is terrible, bro. Okay, NBA is okay. terrible. Yeah, and, but, um, and I don't catch it a lot, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, NBA, NBA you know, is I terrible. Am, I, I'm a Laker fan, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, yeah, that's just a mediocre team. team okay. Uh, that's, a mediocre, that's a mediocre team. Okay. team. That's not the average Laker. That's not the Laker standard team. LeBron, LeBron just had, owned the team. Let's if keep, LeBron has some help, we probably, we probably be in the championship, I would say. I don't know. Yeah, it's still possible this year, though. Okay, good, good, yeah. good. One more, one more upset, because I know, you. like I said, you in the field, like – um. Ryan Garcia, man, last night. What did you think of the fight? One, that was a good fight. That was a great fight. Um, we really got to see that left hand in real time. Mm -hmm. That left hook, we got to see that in real time. Because um, Ryan didn't uh, really get on our radar until okay. he was fighting Tank. Okay. So then it's like, you know, that's a lot of shit with these fights, bro. Like, yeah. You really don't, and I'm an underdog. I'm an underdog, nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Who, 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 who did you go with? Just to, I didn't go with nobody. Just, I didn't even bet. Okay, then, I didn't I, even bet. One, yeah, okay. But 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 okay. but but like you know, like I said, a lot of these people just popped up on my radar, mm -hmm. like Haney and all them. Haney popped up on my radar uh, when he fought Lumachenko. Okay, I don't bet twenty thousand, and nigga just knew I lost because I feel like Luke Luke uh, Chimo, Who you bet on? On that fight, uh -huh, on that I fight. bet on Haney. Okay, okay, okay. Lumachenko though. 
Yeah, but I was nervous because okay. I felt like Luma Chico won. And to yeah. me, he really did yeah. win. Okay. But like I said, a lot of these new fighters, you you really not getting hip to them. You get hip to them through who you really own. Okay. Right now, everybody's on tank. Okay. Everybody was on Spence. Yeah. Like, you know, Crawford was really kind of, nobody wasn't really just on dude like it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knew he was a bad boy, but it took him to fight Spence for everybody to just be like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I felt like Spence was going to win. But do you feel like it was an overall good fight last night? Or do you feel that like was he a great got fight. dominated? No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? No, he got dominated, but that was a great fight, bro. Okay. Because they let him be a champion. Okay. okay. Like, that fight was supposed to be called, bro. To, uh, like, a fight or two before that, like, on the undercard, mm -hmm. they um they called a fight just because dude wasn't swinging. Man, mm. it was, man, dude, Haney was damn, damn near crawling, bro. Mm. They were supposed to call that fight. So he, they just they let him was supposed fight. To, man, they let him be a champion. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? It lasted. It went 12 rounds. He supposed to been knocked down. Don't forget me wrong, bro. I feel like Ryan could have ended him. Mm. But again, bro, it's a fixed game, homie. That shit was probably meant to go the whole 12. Okay, you know what so, I'm saying? So, so if it's fixed and when it comes to the gambling in it, like how do you decipher whether you – in your money is it is it a crab or yeah, it's just yes. like a you just you you are still going with the best contender hey, bro, you got to be nah, i can't even tell you that bro because any, anybody that know me like my some of my closest that know me i bet on the shit that don't make no sense that's what, that's what so i can't say that mm. i can't say that i like like last night bro ryan was the shit that didn't make no sense all the tactics all the bullshit on who would Instagram. you would have bet on last night if, if you would if, if i would if, if i would have had to bet yeah if I'd have had the bet, I would have bet Haney. Mm. I would have bet Haney. I and would lost. have bet Haney and lost. Mm. I would have, but I ain't bet. I ain't touch that fight. That ain't no fight. I'm, I'm fucking with. Okay. But when you, but when you dress it all up, see, then I'm a fan of the, the spread. Like I'm, I understand the drops. Like, uh, the money line uh started out uh Haney minus nine hundred, Ryan plus five fifty. Mm -hmm. By come fight time, it went Haney minus eight hundred, Ryan plus four fifty. Okay. So it's dropping for a reason. That means people is dropping. On Ryan, so it's you know what I mean. So I'm you know. I'm is that more, a good sign for you or or, or, or bad? If that would have been a bad. That would have been okay. a bad. That would have been a bad sign if I was betting Haney. Haney. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying. But if that line get to dropping and I'm seeing that line drop, I would have I would have bet on uh I would have bet on Garcia though. Mm. That was a good fight though. Why you think boxing it, needed that though? Yeah, the, oh, off boxing, top, boxing needed that. Off the top, why you think everybody's kind of migrating to? To betting on the gangs and stuff like that because you know it, it wasn't really like super normal back in the day. Now everybody uh, really trying to just get into it. Had, had they made it a little easier or something? You know what I'm saying? No, it's 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 the promotion, bro. Okay. Like uh, it's the promotion, and it's and it's no different than social media. That's one of the biggest things. Like um, I now nowadays you see we get to talking about something on our phone around our phones. We bring up anything. Go on the internet, that shit'll pop up on your feed. Yeah. So it's really kind of uh it's just really shit pushing a drug, out there. Bro. They, yeah. done, they done threw a drug out there. It's something to make money off of, homie. So uh they done weeded out a lot when it come to the gambling and shit. And they done took over. So now you got Pete bros. Man, look here, bro. Gambling is the worst addiction ever. Mm. Gambling is the worst addiction ever. It's 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 more Would addictive. you encourage people to do it or not do it? Not do it. Bro. Okay. No, nah, no, nah, not do no, it. No, nah, not do it. I'm don't, telling you. Don't coming, fuck with it. No, nah, this coming from a this coming yeah, from uh, this a professional. No, nah, this coming from somebody that's a real professional yeah, with this shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know. But uh they actually know. go to Vegas, they actually go to Vegas and stuff and gamble, not yeah. just stay in Nashville. Nah, yeah, nah, but go ahead. Nah, yeah. I, nah, I do that shit, homie. Uh -huh. Like I done I don't pull out some shit. I actually pay taxes on my winners now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's you know, it's one of them, man. Like, you know, it's it's too accessible, bro. You got all these apps. It's right there on your phone. You know what I'm saying? You gotta ask yourself, like, okay, you can, you can, you can like, you can, you can be into weed, you can be in the heroin, you can be in the cocaine, you can be in a crack. But are you but are you really gonna spend 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 thousand on that in one day? And believe it and not and not be scared. But but but, but you will drop 20, 30, 40, 50, 10,000, 5,000, mm -hmm. 500,000. At the on, club. A on a game, mm. on a game, or a parlay, like it ain't nothing. Ain't nothing worse than a gamble. What's the homie? most you think you done fed it just in one day? And it ain't no think. Well, I, 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 well but I, I know you done did a lot. It how much no you? Done, how much? How much you done bet in one day? Just in how much was it? I done bet over hundred thousand. Woo! What was you scared on the inside for real? For real, like, or you wouldn't just. No, I ain't. And I know you ain't even uh, uh 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 I ain't never seen you pressure, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's what I do. Even homie. though a look, okay, yeah, nah, yeah. That's what I, nah, that's what I do. 
Facts, That's what facts. I do. It ain't it ain't no pressure. Uh, it ain't no pressure when it comes mm. to me, homie. Like, I mean, when I drop, I drop, and I ain't. And you know, I'm just different. Like, I ain't the type to just drop because I'm playing with profit. Yeah, I'm the type to drop because yeah, this what I got. This yeah. how much money I got. This how much I'm willing to invest. This how much I'm willing to do. This how much I'm willing to lose. This what I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, I post some, of my, you know, I throw some wins out there sometime yeah, and yeah. people, you know what I mean, get at me. Damn, man, how you do that? Yeah. Man, you got to have a set of nuts. <laughs> you got to have a set of nuts. But you know, I, I mean, I get off, man, you know. Do you I get think- off. Like, you know, I, I, this this is shit that I don't mind sharing or talking about now Definitely. because, like I said, I pay taxes on this shit now. Like, they made it to where it's not, I'm not doing it in an illegal well, way. Well, you posted and stuff, it's, it's social oh, yeah. media, so that's why, I, you know what I mean? I oh, bro, feel like just, it's cool. Bro, bro, just two, three months ago, bro, I took a, I put 6000 in my Bet MGM account and put that motherfucker on a quarter million in one day. Mm. In one day. Man, six thousand. Listen to me now. I, I, I'm, I'm I put in. six thousand in my account. Put that motherfucker on a quarter million in one day. Mm. Now I ain't took nine, man. You know I might have lost some of it, man. That's we. the but but everybody know how it yeah. go. But that's what. But that's real facts. Yeah, so but it ain't. It, nothing, it, ain't, it, ain't, yeah. it ain't. nothing to hide no more. You know facts. I'm. I'm a, uh, on paper on black and white. Like I said, I pay taxes on mm. this shit. Facts. Uh, you know I'm a high stakes gambler. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I do this shit. And this, this ain't even a secret around there. No, nah, that's that. Well, that what we. That's what I'm uh, talking about. I understand that. Probably the roughest. You. I'm probably the roughest gambling in Nashville, hands down. You think you gamble more than Jazz did? It's not about gambling more. I like, said I'm, I'm the just, roughest. Okay, yeah, just the with the. Well, I look because th- to be honest with you, even though I always looked at Jazz like he was the the professional gambler. You know what I'm saying? Like I oh, always Jazz, seen Jazz. him. Yeah, you know I mean that no, was. Jazz had a that's what I'm saying. Young niggas coming up. But you know I said, what I'm saying? But I said, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, I came yeah. up seeing Jazz too. But right. I said the roughest. Yeah, fact. I said the roughest. Like what I'm willing to do with mine. And not in the. And I wasn't saying Jazz like in a no, 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 no. I know what you're saying. Yeah. I'm a gambler, homie. I'm, so no, nah, I'm facts. saying what I'm willing to do Dude. with mine. How mm-hmm. I'm willing to drop it and stuff like that. That shit rough. It's it's, it's one person out there that uh definitely. Is Give me a run for my money, yeah. hands down. Okay. And we talking present day. day. Yeah. We talking present yeah. day. I ain't going to say his name. You know, yeah. niggas, niggas around my way know who he is. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm yeah. saying? But, down. but, man, I'm I'm rough, homie. Huh? Yeah. I'm rough. And that's your thing. And that's I'm what rough. Uh, but you, you got to think, um, era for me, I love it. It's like, to me, it's like one of my cash with niggas doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because when even when, like, with somebody, my people and stuff talking about, like, oh, but, you know, my, my nigga them be doing that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. for me, I like... It's a bragging point to me because I, cause niggas really learn how to make it a, another different way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah sure. And so, but this, so do you think like uh, you one of the only niggas? What's up with the the uh, Jeezy feature? Out because you know we hold niggas accountable. Is <laughs> that is that cleared yet? Or you know what I mean? Because I know that was a you know what I'm saying? Because we because we 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 fuck with them down here. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And um, so with the feature, is it cleared or no? What? It's okay. it's it's not it's not clear. It put it this way. Okay. Man, first of all, that shit happened kind of out the blue. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I went into that show, which it was the show at Bridgestone. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, T.I., my favorite artist. You know what I'm saying? I went in that motherfucker. I'm finna holler tip. Because I know you was performing that night. Yeah, that I thing. performed okay. that night. Yeah. yeah, I went into that motherfucker mentally. Man, I'm a holler tip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then me knowing Coop is... Close to the camp, Shout you know what I'm saying. Like like if, if, it, if it came to that, uh-huh. you know, I was like, man, bro, you know, who I need to talk to, type shit. Right. So that was the plan. Uh, but the order changed mm-hmm. of the show. The order changed. Yeah. Uh, Ti ended up being the headliner. It was supposed to be G. G's end up going on first, mm-hmm. and so I'm I'm backstage and I'm right there backstage. Uh, me, Capo, uh, Alicia from Two L's on the Cloud. You know that's. The team that I had right there with me at the time, and uh, and Buck and Buck was right there backstage too. Shout out to Buck. And um, so when Jeezy come off stage, man, of course you know everybody just greeting everybody. Man, I'm right there, Buck right there. You know, Buck just kind of put in the word like, "Hey, man, this Elroy the boy." Facts. You know what I'm saying? Real uh, talk. He the one got this shit right now. He bloom bloom bloom. You know, we chopped it up. Nigga, I'm chopping it up with him, and I said, "Man, shit, what can I do to get a feature?" He shot me to the person that I need to talk to. Man, we right there. Chopping it up. T.I. end up going on stage. We're on the side of the stage. I'm right here. Uh, the middle man right here. Jesus right here. He talked to Jesus. Jesus say something to him. He say something to me. We discussing numbers. We go back and forth. Then, you know, the number they told me. Then it turned into a 
And do you really got it? Like, man, uh-huh. it's like, damn, oh, we ain't wasting our time right. kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, man, I said, I'll leave this motherfucker right now. You know what I'm saying? It was Cash like, shit, sure. go ahead. <laughs> Nigga, I go dip. I go dip, go where I need to go. Uh, but by this time, you got to understand, bro, I don't have nothing in place. Uh-huh. Damn near everybody in the city is in this motherfucker. Yeah, facts. It's in the Studio, building. It, it, man, I done, the I done shot. Texas, man, where you at? Man, I'm in the show. I didn't, where you at? I'm in the show. Wait a minute. The studios I go to, all of them was in the show. A- it, I got to uh, one one of my people, which was a uh, shout out to my guy Chance. Uh, I need you to dip. Mm-hmm. Man, what's going on? Emoji. Snow. Chance by his being the dope. Shout out to nah, Chance. Nah, I'm talking about, bro, we in the middle of a fucking yeah, show. Homie. Niggas, don't pay, niggas don't pay their tickets. Niggas don't pay their money. Man, I text Chance snowman emoji. Chance dipped out that motherfucker. Yeah, he about his business, though. I, I dip, met him one time, but I, I know him about yeah, his business. Yeah, I dip, go get the money, meet them back where I met them at. Then we shoot the way we need to shoot to. Then we get uh, all the way out there. Then they basically told me to come back. They had an after party at Vibes. And uh, they told me to come back and kick it with them. They didn't want to rush me mm-hmm. uh, for my money or whatever. So, you know, we go kick it with them. Then we go out there, man, handle it. You know what I'm saying? I already had a record. Uh, I already had a record in mind. And, uh. We chop that up, man. Do everything we need to do. They ain't rush me, man. It was it was on some real time, you know what I mean? Uh, you know I did everything I was supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? But then when it got to, uh, then it got to, uh, um, I'm ready to shoot the video. Okay. No, I talked to them about that, and they was coming back down here. They was coming back down okay. here, and uh, you know it was a bunch of back and forth with that. Uh, you know I just wanted to do something unique, something I ain't never done. It's like. I'm all, man, I'm all about capitalizing, homie. Right. You know what I'm saying? What can make this motherfucker the bigger biggest, than, the yeah, bigger yeah. than big? Man, get me on stage with that nigga. Get me on stage with him. Yeah. Nigga, I'm on stage with him. So then it turns into a a, a one-take video. Nigga, it's a homecoming. You know, homecoming. Three, four right. months later, homecoming. Because um, I think that show was in June. Homecoming was October. Yeah, it was homecoming. homecoming. Down on the riverfront. And, um... And I had ten different cameramen, bro. Or the ten had ten hired ten cameramen, one take, different angles. Had a, a professional um, drone oh, racer yeah, guy. I, I heard that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, and I got, I got, I didn't get him from Jelly Roll, but he did some shit from Jelly Roll. I don't know if you've seen that promo Jelly did through the Bridgestone when that fast ass drone was going through that bitch. I probably seen it, but he I... the same, he the same dude that flew that. Mm-hmm. So you know, um, did that. So uh, then it comes down, and you know, man, clearing is not a. Uh, that's what I'm trying to get, but you need yeah, to clear. Clear stuff you clearing, can educate our people it's, on. It's nothing new with clearing. We all okay. hear about it, but when we caught up in the moment of spending our money, that ain't yeah. some shit we thinking about. We ain't thinking about go get the paperwork, make sure it's signed off. We ain't thinking about none of that shit. It's like I'm making this shit happen. I got the money to do it. Bloom, bloom, bloom. It's a hustle, homie. Yeah. And uh, present day, as smart as I am with this shit, I knew better. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? That was, I out knew of all people. Nah, I nah, would have thought. I knew that better. You knew. Yeah. No, nah, I knew better. Okay. But at the same time, you know, I had a real one on one with him, bro. Like this wasn't like no nigga. I had a real one on one. You shit. know, I let him know, like straight yeah. off the top. Man, I ain't nobody out here just throwing it around, homie. Just cut the home. I really yeah. do this shit. I'm yeah. trying to do this shit the right way. Uh, bloom on bloom. He told me I I had the numbers that I needed to yeah. make shit go forward. Thanks. And uh, so when it came down to dropping, um, I did. Try to push that button. Okay. And uh, it got blocked. Uh, and when I, you know, to reach out to the people uh, that I needed to reach out to, I actually got a hold to them, but nothing moved. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you know, that came down to me getting entertainment lawyers and all of it. Like, I got all this shit in play. Right. But, uh, but you know, it came down to the, he was still signing the Def Jam. Uh, so you know the com. You, uh, oh, you got to go through them. Yeah. You know, so, because like right after that, you know, I went and met them in Vegas. They wanted to, uh, they wanted to, uh, Prove the video. And, and shout out to G's, no smoke or none of this yeah, shit. Nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, yeah. Nah, nah, it's just a big, yeah, like, it's bro, just a business. It's industry artists that okay. ain't got shit cleared. Okay. So here I am, you know, yep. a local out of Nashville, you know, I'm pushing this line. So it's nothing that's like throwing me off, but it's timing. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can still drop the song, bro. I done gave yeah. some little sneak peeks of it and shit. A lot of people don't, you know, think a nigga capping. You know, I done yeah. threw some shit out there to let you know it ain't no capping my rap yeah. type shit. Uh, I done previewed the video here and there, but to put it out the real proper way to get my benefit off of it, it's just timing. And that's where, uh, you know, I got a project with Drummer Boy coming up. Right. And now, Jesus is not even on 
Def Jam, Jam no more. So, so it ain't no it's, telling it's, it'll come. Yeah, it's it's gonna come. And like sometimes shit do take times. So will it be a extra fee? You know, it's just how this music shit work, bro. You know I, what I mean? And don't get me wrong, like uh you seeing more come out of this shit now, uh artists going public, just saying don't pay for this, don't do that, and all that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? They telling you not to pay these niggas. You know what I'm right. saying? And shit like that. But it's really just all having proper paperwork. And if they don't sign the paperwork, then don't give them your money. And, and, so, and you know, trip. we get we get caught up in that yeah. sometimes, man. You know what I mean? And and I ain't the first. Damn sure ain't going to be the last. And um, the best thing about that situation is I really do have a record that I don't feel like time will make the record just. Yeah, it's it, a really, some it's records really, are just them records. Nah, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, it, really, it it's really one of them. And then it's one of them, like, bro, I, like I said, I'm really on a, really on stage with him, bro, what, performing. What makes you, like, um, I always uh, try to explain to people that, man, they got to put money behind them. Like, you can say what you want to say about um, what's the difference between, between having good music and actually putting money behind good music. Um, the difference is good music. Good music, really. Good music can never get going. Okay. Good music can never get going. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of good music, bro. It's a lot of great music in Nashville that uh, that just ain't getting its proper due. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Proper respect, like um. You know, I feel like, bro, I started at, you know, going back to 06, bro. I started right here from this. I ain't I ain't nobody that was gifted with rapping. I worked to get where I'm at when it come to rapping. I 100%. Yeah, I built this shit off criticism, homie. Every time it was a critic to throw towards Roy, I took it, ran with it, either worked my own move off of it. You know, I, I you know, I worked to get to this point of where I'm at lyrically, but it was the money that moved my shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's where, that's where the the friction comes between me and a lot of artists because it gets to a point where motherfuckers think I'm just, oh, man, he talking this. Like, well, first of all, my nigga, we all talk money on, yeah. when it comes to music. Do you think, real quick, and 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 because I want to ask you that, why why are people so offended by you been, you feel like I'm the nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, any podcast can get offended if I say, nigga, I'm the nigga in podcast. Like, I feel like that about me. Like, you can't tell me what to feel about me. And so why are people so, like, offended because Airwood was saying, nigga, I'm the nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? And and why and, and why is Airwood boy spending money for the, for the community and bringing shows and not getting the proper love? Uh, why they offended? Why is it offended that you want to be, I'm the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, not, not well, trying to say you ain't the nigga. I'm just saying I'm the nigga. Well, when you offend somebody, it's true. Okay. I lie, I lie don't offend nobody. Okay. For one, it's true. Okay. Uh, for two, just probably because it's me. Mm -hmm. Uh, Three, we in this era of, like, you know, this my thing. We in this era of popping our shit. Okay. Everybody, everybody, everybody pop they shit, homie. They tell you to pop your yeah. shit, bro. If anybody really know, if anybody really know Roy, yeah, really know Roy. Roy. <laughs> and it, and I don't even open that door for everybody, homie. Mm -hmm. Some people right. got to just watch me on the net. Some people got to get fed fed with that long spoon. Mm -hmm. But anybody like me, that I, I anybody that I really let in, they man, that nigga ain't even like it, homie. I'm really the most humblest ever, but I know how to play the game. How it go. I know how to pop my shit. I know how to do this. I know I know how to talk this shit. This yeah. is what I do. This is me. I'm not acting like it ain't me. me yeah. But I'm humble in a motherfucker, homie. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I came in this game, bro, as a fan. Mm -hmm. I came in this game as a fan. Me too. You see what I'm Ooh, saying? I love that. I came in this game as a fan, Thanks. homie. So the offense is, one, it's true. Okay. Uh, it's me. Okay. They the build you up to tear you down is for real. Okay. This is a real thing now. I mean, when I came with Break the Cycle in 2017, I was doing everything, you know, working my move, bloom, bloom, bloom. Oh, they built Roy up. Yeah. You know, artists fucked with me, bloom, 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 to tear me down. Now they want my head. Home, it's a reason. I I I got there. You know, then I got there. I got there. And we just talking Nashville. Yeah, yeah, and even the way that I'm a Man, everybody know, man, when it comes to really the representation of this shit, man, come on, man, this shit stop. We talking present day. Facts. Because, like, I can pay homage 
Because I can I can go down memory lane and right. tell you why I got a lot of this game from. I can tell you what I built my shit are, off of and all this and that. But we talking present day. Uh, yeah. We talking present day. When when it come to dressing this shit up, how we want to be represented. And putting this into that and putting this in that, dropping this. Homie, I ain't the only nigga out here with a piece of change, homie. Facts. But just when I told you about the gambling, mm-hmm. I'm the one that's going to drop this. Oh, off the top. I I'm the one that's going to yeah, drop this. Yeah. I'm the one that dropped that. To, yeah. Homie, people that was on my shows, these niggas got money too. And so, I ain't never, it ain't, it ain't never, but they push it on money. But, they but, push it on money yeah. when it come to me. Now it's like, a, oh, man, he feel like that. Homie, I ain't never said I got more than no nigga. Homie, I ain't never. But when it come to dropping and doing, homie, we can dress this shit up. They can give us a whole blueprint, homie. And we just talking. We ain't talking to music, who better, right. and all that shit. Nah, we, talking that about, yeah. we talking about the oh. investing in your, in your brand. They can give us the whole blueprint, one through a hundred, what it's supposed to do. One thing they, I'm going to say, invest in they, 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 know, they know how Roy coming. I want you to keep going on this, but yeah. one thing I'm going to say about investing in your brand, when you invest in your brand, you also investing in this fucking city. Yeah, after like, time. Like, you know what I'm saying, Roy? Like, they don't I mean, understand. I can't, like, I ain't, I ain't all on, on everybody, but I'm giving niggas they props they do. Like, Roy has bought some shows to this city that, that brought a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, and, was, and niggas should respect that. And then, you know, it's just the thing, though, bro. The haters respect it. Everybody, that's one thing I can't say. I can't say motherfuckers don't respect it. They give me that. Yeah. They give me that. Now, the talking about it and putting it on wax and, and putting it on, you know, coming on a podcast. Or, now, you, you might not see a lot of that. Now, you might not see a lot of that. that. Yeah, why is that? You gotta ask them. You know what? You gotta you ask what? them. I be, I be going up and down. You gotta ask, no, you, no, you gotta ask them, though. Look, that, but, ain't, that ain't funny, Dan. But, but, but I wanna ask, guess what? I go up and down Instagram. Yeah. And the same, I same niggas like Shade Room, Boosie, y'all on air post. But if, if you a live subscribe, come down or Elroy doing something, come down. I don't even never see y'all. Yeah. And that's why, you know what? That's why I make it my business to be different. That's why I like everybody post. Well, the game. You're going to see my. Well, I'm going to tell you about this, piece. The game tricky. Because it was at a point, bro, the game said be consistent. And they still say be consistent. But they'll get tired of seeing you, homie. They'll get tired of seeing you. I don't get tired of seeing y'all, bro, when y'all doing something. I'll be the but first. We talk, but, but we talk. We talking about you. Okay. Man. okay. They'll get tired of you, okay. homie. Yeah. Like, man, it's, 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 it's tricky, bro. Even with videos. Okay. Bro, we used to drop videos and literally get. Five, six thousand views in a week, sell make that. Bro, now we can't crack a thousand video. We can't crack a thousand, thousand views, views, nigga, in two weeks. Nigga, we video hard, video dope. We got some of the best videographers. Bro, we ain't cracking them numbers, man. See, it's it's they seeing you too much. I don't Nas come from too, that. Nas too overset. I'm telling you what's happening. Okay, I know, I know but look, I'm what? telling you what's happening. This what, look, this what I come from. I come from the era. Well, when niggas was performing, no matter who it was, we was outside. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about all the way up from bar flies to, and I might be going back a while, Mix Factory, and yeah. I'm talk, I'm still talking about Tierras and Cream. Like, when if you from Cashville and you was somebody that was actually doing something, you got to be doing yeah, something now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Arrow the Boy is doing, yeah. you know what I'm saying, doing the work. You know what I'm saying? And I got some criticism for him too, but <laughs> he, he is doing the work. And we should show up for that no matter what. I don't care what you talking about. We, we shouldn't have to end. We shouldn't have, We ain't got to invite you niggas. Well, the thing is, like I said, bro, with me, I make a hater pop out, homie. Right. I make a hater pop out. 100%. I'm going to make a hater pop out. But I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the true definition of knowing, like, how this shit supposed to go. Oh, yeah. Homie. Like I say. Like my last show, the last big show I did, bro, it was at Marathon Music Works. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. Uh, I had Light Skin, skin Keisha, Keisha and Cash, and Cash Dog, right? Ooh, Cash Dog. Yeah, I was backstage, bro, on, you know, on my, uh, I was backstage on cam. You know, they really catching me just talking. Mm-hmm. And I'm basically saying, bro, I need people to hate on this shit. Bro, hating keeps the shit moving, homie. Okay. Hating is your biggest promo tool that you could possibly have, especially when it's evident and the people can see it. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? The truth, bro, if I sit right here right now and tell you all truth, how you going to argue with me? Opinions keep this shit going, homie. Like, prime example, how much do they talk about Braun and Michael Jordan on ESPN, homie? Talk about something else. 
I'm gonna tell you shit getting old. I'm gonna tell you a false narrative. This shit done got old, homie. I'm gonna tell you a false narrative, real quick. Talk to me. I'm gonna tell you a false narrative. They have always said this for all my life. It's so false. It's a keep your friends close and keep your enemies closer. That's a damn lie. It's always keep your friends close and keep your enemies. I'm at the point now, Edward, to where like, um, if I know people in there that don't like me, I don't even go in there. I don't even want to. I don't even want to be around around that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be around that. The point is, what I'm saying about this is, everybody that I'm seeing around you, you know, everybody always holler Kwani name. They say Kwani in every other sentence, right? Mm-hmm. I don't never see these niggas with his stuff on. I just said I saw you with it on. I saw you posted yeah, yeah, yeah. and run into a nigga like that's on some authentic shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, you but none of you for? niggas, and this is what I'm saying, you niggas should be doing it because this is the only cash real brand that's running around and actually selling. You know what I'm saying? Why well, ain't gonna say that? It's more. Well, it's a couple nah, of more, but I'm talking smoke. about somebody that's been doing it consistently. Shout out to Groundhog. Well, yeah, they yeah. fuck with me super duper tough, but yeah. you know how they online. Well, it's, and, it's, but it's, he's it's actually moving around. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, and it's so a, that's it's all a, I'm saying. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. Now, I will if say this. If they holler Air Water Boy name and Air Water Boy is doing something, why am I seeing, not seeing all these niggas promoted? I'm, I'm talking a, about I'm the one that be with you. Well, I'm going to tell you this. It's one of them. It's one of those. Oh, he got it. It's like I don't need no help. That's that's that's. I mean, that's that's the approach. No, no, that's the approach. They and don't give me and don't give me wrong, bro. Man, listen, I'm I'm saying that's the approach. Like when you look at it, it's damn. They're like, oh, he don't need help because a lot of the shit that do offend a lot of people, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, man, I don't listen here, bro. I don't. I won't. I won't never go on wax telling no nobody business. Never. Never. But it's artists around here, homie. It's artists in this city that I bought tracks for because they was dope and they using other people beats. You need your own tracks. I bought tracks for them. You know, I've bought features for some people. They won't, they couldn't make it happen, but they wanted a certain feature. Couldn't make it happen. I've assisted. They not signed to me or nothing. I see the vision. I understand. You know, they said they'll pay me back, but Nigga, ain't nobody doing no shit like that for me. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm just saying, bro, it's, it's the way I carry myself with this shit, homie. Like I said, bro, I built my shit off of off good ground and of if, where I got it from. I don't feel like, say, for instance, if you, 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 you got that. You over the boy, you got the money to do that. And that's fine. No, listen, but, listen, but it's P, like, P, P. They can get something gonna, back, no, but I, it, it ain't got to be money, I ain't right? I let you do me like that. It's, it's, I'm saying, can it. I no, get no, some no, back no, other no, than no, 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 homie, 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 homie. You see what I'm saying? You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you're a real boy. You got the money. No, nigga, I ain't always had the money. Okay. I, get the I ain't always no, I mean, had the money. Fact. Homie, I done well, granted this. Homie, I done granted this music shit with yeah. every piece of bankroll you could possibly have, homie. Fact. Nigga, as I seen, you know, like I said, bro, I done studied your show. Mm-hmm. I seen Lito uh, get on here, talk about pressing up a hundred, going back and get a hundred. Pre- selling them honey, coming back and getting two hundred, right. homie. I done done that yeah, yeah. when it was only a few hundred to spend. Then it got up to five hundred. Then it got up to a thousand. Right. Then it, nigga, I grew with the times. Mm-hmm. So no, I ain't always had the money. Yeah, you right. see what I'm saying? And, and if I didn't have the money, you know, I know I got a mouthpiece. Mm-hmm. I know I know how to get out here and talk business and do this and that and tell somebody they can get a return. So it ain't always about me having the money. Okay. Sometimes it was some people behind the scenes that believed in me. Shout out to my dog K Roy Key, Karan Key. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like back day one, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, Ed, my cousin. You know he yeah, was so one of the eight. main That's engines around yeah. that Grand Hard movement. Yeah. You know what I mean? What y'all doing, cuz? Oh man, at this time they pressing up five thousand. Nigga, I wasn't pressing up no five thousand CDs in. When he told me they were pressing up five thousand, I went and got five thousand, and it wasn't with my money. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now, it was a point of time where, you know, shit changed on my end. I got them and got out here and turned some shit up all the way, and I was able to get that. But, homie, it wasn't always. Homie, one thing they've seen with Roy, they've seen the same grind since 2006 up into 2024. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, bro, I ain't always had the same. I ain't Thanks. always had the same bankroll. Yeah, yeah. It's the same hustle, though, homie. My yeah. hustle, my hustle done always been A1. You feel what I'm saying? Now we're going to get to the good rapping ad niggas. Yeah. No hustle. Mm. No hustle. 
Like I said, I study your interviews. Yeah, Cook up. You wasn't lying. It's a business. Yeah, it's a facts. hustle to this. It, it is. It's more than just rapping. Yeah. Behind That's, this mic now. It's more than just that. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing about Roy, bro, I ain't the hustle always been the same. The bankroll ain't always been the same, homie. So that's the thing. That's the energy I get, homie. Yeah. They see me present day now. It's the oh man, Roy got the money. No, hold up, nigga. Let's talk about the day. I ain't finna let y'all discredit me on that, yeah. homie. Yeah, Cause I ain't the, always had the money, yeah. but I was still turned out here when it was just going outside high school football games with two, three hundred CDs banging out. I done that when it was time to. After the club, yeah, I go in the club, I'm in the club, but I leave out the club, Lime Light, uh, 615, all these motherfuckers, uh, 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 man, all the goddamn clubs, what? nigga, I'm leaving out an hour, two hours early, hitting all the cars, you Everything. come outside, nigga, it's my CD right there. Come on, homie, I done that shit. Look, man, you can't man, discredit Roy, man. and the bankroll wasn't look, the same yeah, right then, look, but look, you knew Roy. They don't want to, look, Roy, that look. You feel me? That, that, that look, on, man, look, Roy, talk. that was my opening, <laughs> that was what I'm I was saying. talking about, like, I just real. sometime, they discredit the grind. Man, come you on, know what? Man. This what the look. I seen a podcast to do this. You went on another show, and we, we ain't gonna say the name. It ain't, it ain't if it, no. Oh, okay, okay. I said I seen a podcast. Oh, podcast. Okay. You went on somebody else's show and talked funky about me and the person that that came on my show. And then when he came on your show, you rolled his dick like you was his biggest fan. Be like that, bro. And so. My my point is what I'm saying is, I'll get back to what you're saying. They'll discredit our grind. Oh, he got some good cameras. It look good. Uh, uh they, I mean they'll discredit the 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 grind for the work. They'll look at it like, oh yeah, just because your camera look good. No man, a nigga been out here yeah. just like you're saying. Me from nigga, the mud. Yeah, they don't I'm know the real started. from the mud. I'm a seventh grade dropout. Yeah, they don't know where niggas. You know started. what I'm saying? They don't. And so that's why I respect. I respect what you're saying. Like, man, uh, the, it, it's the grind for Roy. It just ain't, he just couldn't rap or it ain't always been about the money because they'll push that on I mean, some people. I mean, but they push that because that's what the game say do now. Okay. Homie, homie, what I turned into with music, that wasn't me. Man, homie, when I, when, 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 when my- What made you want to do when, music, don't my, you, just with- uh, what made you? You know what I mean. Just the influences around me. You know I'm a. I'm a. You know don't know. Where you from, Rucker? R- R- we finna well, get this my- together today. <laughs> Cause these niggas be playing on your name. You know what uh, I'm saying. Yeah, Where know. is Roy from? Man, I am from out east. east. I am from out east. That's one thing they ain't gonna never play about. I know. Nigga, true. I'm from out east. Facts. But you know my uh my uh my grandparents live in Inglewood, so you know that Inglewood ties always been there. But I grew up in Lane Garden. Next one. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, that migrated, you know, to the projects and shit like that. You know, that's where my family stayed at, hustled at. So, you know, that's where my roots at of, like, you know, when it come to community, Red Shield, community yeah, center. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, my first. The, the yeah, guy don't shit. rap, but how, how I, like, flip to that. You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, Roy, like, I'm going to see, I'm the nigga, like, I like a smart nigga. Like, yeah. these niggas ain't. You know, I give I give it to the cookers, I give it to the stars, I give it to the quantities. Like yeah. them niggas really got a brain on them, and you do too. Man. You know what I'm saying? I just yeah. seen you do too much. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you know, I'm I'm one nigga. I lost fifteen thousand on Shorty Low because B One Hundred got killed the day before. You know what I'm oh, okay, saying? Yeah. Um, the week yeah, before yeah, 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 at yeah. um Rocco concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you man, I see you doing like you know. That's why I kind of knew you was gonna do real good in the rap. Because I'm gonna tell you something. Like it's like your name was so hot at one point. And then you just dipped off the scene. And it was for a reason. What is that? No, it ain't for no reason. Like, I mean, we can, we can, we can, we can talk, no, we can talk about it. That's what I'm saying. Like, we can talk about it. You want to hear why? Yeah. But again, bro, like, oh. You had it for. Nah, listen, listen, listen. I'm talking about the cash Nah, listen, listen, listen. Okay. Real straight, straight up real shit. I should have dipped. I should have dipped. And when I say should have dipped, it should have been more focused outside of Nashville. But I'm somebody like, listen, bro, ain't no hating bone in my body. I'm somebody that really want that. Like, the end goal for me wouldn't be me rapping. The end goal for Roy is some babies, some pee, some... That's, that's, that's the end goal for me. But I understood that, okay, it just might take me because I had the tools. And the main tools was... The money, and you had the connections. Yeah, with. I had the yeah, I had the connections, and um, and I had the influence. You know, okay. like you know, because the game changer for me was going out on the road for the first time. Mm-hmm. I went out on uh, out on the road with Step Brothers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I went out on the road with Trip and uh 
Shout out Tripping Lido. You know what I'm saying? And even with that, bro, people don't know the grind I was on. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I wasn't on that show. You know, me and Star, personal relationship. Facts. I hit the road. He know what I'm on. Bloom, bloom, bloom. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, like, you know, like, just the, me and Red Dot had a song okay. together. You know what I'm saying? And I'm all about the, I ain't saying me and Dot couldn't have rocked the song together, but, man, we all out there trying to make some shit shake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I threw my boy something every show to put me on stage with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a grand. That's you the that's in, You invested in yourself. But this really? is something nobody knows, bro, okay. except for okay. some of my closest. Thanks, but this is just like going on record to show, like, this is, it's a story here. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It really is a story here, bro. You know what I mean? How a nigga got to this point. Um, and a nigga shot off, you know, man, four years, four years, bro, 2017 to goddamn it, 20, I'm going to say all the way up into the Jesus shit. I was mine. It was, I'm, it was it was mine. It was mine. But you know, I learned so much, bro. Uh, and like just to bounce off something you said when you talked about, man, if you was hot, bloom, bloom, bloom. Nah, bro, that's clubbing. I found out another lane of this shit, like through Lido now, a hard ticket sale. Okay. Hard ticket sale, club ticket. Okay. Two totally different things. And and we need to be educated on that. So well, let's yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about it. Yeah, okay. You know, I don't play the club game. Spending the five thousands and shit like that to come open up. And in my one of my last straw with that shit was when the Migos was down here. Mm -hmm. Um, this was right the this was like 2017. Migos came down here, Lamb Light. Man, I paid. I can't think of remember what I paid, but I opened up. They got the fighting down there that night, too. I don't even know if that was the same time. Okay. It could have okay. been. Okay. But it was one of them things, bro. They wasn't there to see me. And I knew that. I'm yeah. I'm just an opener. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just an opener. Uh, they wasn't there to see me. Uh, the what I got back from the crowd, it wasn't even like on no booing or nothing. It was just like nigga, they waiting on the Migos. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it. That was my straw. That it's was all... my straw. That was my straw with that. So, all right, I'm chilling. So then I go out on the road. Hard ticket sales. I understand hard ticket sales now. When it come down to going in them offices, homie. When it going in them offices, what you can do, what you can do, what you can bring to the table, a club ticket. You selling tickets to a club is not going to be the answer. What can you do at a hard ticket venue? Hard ticket venues in Nashville, just some to name a few. Basement East, okay. um, Marathon Music Works, mm -hmm. Brooklyn Bowl, Eastside Bowl. Them are hard oh, ticket yeah. venues. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But what What does hard ticket mean? Like Hard ticket meant being, uh, shit, uh, the real true. I can't really, I ain't finna sit up and say I'm going to give you the real true okay. meaning of it. But a hard ticket venue means they basically value in it like, okay, a club. Do they like Sense sell okay, tickets? okay, let me just break okay. it down to you. Sensations. Okay. Sensations is shitty every Friday. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So that's with or without you. Yeah. So just because you having a show there. And don't, that don't it for you. Yeah, yeah, like this shit is like, it really gets ran through a database. Mm -hmm. Like, like, bro, like when I was doing my shows at Basement East, you go on Ticketmaster. Mm, and yeah. Yeah, like your name is on the ticket. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So Ooh, when that's it's like. a hard ticket sale. Yeah, that's a hard ticket sale. Okay. Like, nigga, this venue ain't open. Mm -hmm. You had a show there and it opened it, and these so people came. you know came. everybody there for you, Cap, again. Yeah, that's, that's the, and I ain't even saying that's the true meaning, but that's damn near the more no, I get broader I got exactly aspect of it. Did. So I learned the meaning of a number on the road. The meaning of a number. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. I learned the meaning of a number. Because okay. every show wasn't sold out. But every number meant something. Mm. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So... In Nashville, bro, like, or even just with artistry, period, nobody wants to throw something, bro, and nobody shows. Everybody has this vision of sold out. Mm -hmm. But somebody, a lot of people ain't got it, you know, feel like they ain't got the tools or ain't got the push to sell, really sell some shit out. Okay. So you got to find your ways to, to make that shit happen. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so when I got back to Nashville, you know, man, I got to work. It was hard ticket venues, bro. So my main thing was if a venue holds 500 people, my goal is selling 250 tickets. I'm, my goal is to sell half the tickets. Nobody want to come to a show alone. Right. So when it's showtime, them 250 is coming with at least hey, one person. Sold out show. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I kind of branched out the grind of just a a show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then you got your antics. 
you got all of that. The promo, man. Promo went. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro. Like, uh, shout out to Fate, man. I my first show, oh, the fly, guy. the fly was just some 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 cool shit. Nigga, Fate looked at me and said, "Hey, bro, you got Don't to turn this that. promo up." Yeah. And I was like, "Shit, what you mean?" He said, "Bro, this shit you talking, it's not looking like it." Mm. And what he told me. Yeah, fact. And then somebody else told me that with my image, like, bro. It's time for you to pop out, bro. And I'm like, man, you know, I ain't with all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Why like, do, why, why, why do a lot of artists feel like it's got to be so perfect just to put it out? Do you think it's, it's, it's got something to do with just that's uh, what the ga- That's what the game saying do, homie. Okay. The game saying that. The game saying go broke to make it. Mm. You just got to be clever enough to not go broke, broke to make it. Make it. You still got to find your ways where you ain't going broke for this shit. But the game is saying go broke for this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I went through, I went down this maze. You know what I'm saying? End up taking a liking to some shit. Then when I started drinking, you know, I, I wasn't a jury nigga, bro. Mm. Anybody that really know me know. But you jury- bought a lot of it. You yes. can't say that. No, I no, yeah, I know. No, for, for, see, no, look at what. No, but th- that that's a that's a that's a, a to me it's like a shocker what you just said Man, because I, for a person like me that watch you, what? I would say. Yeah, where the boys of jewelry nigga because you bought a lot of but it. But we here. And now it's like, bro, you in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, all right, brother, those over. I, like, I, 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 I bro, I ain't, no, I ain't really no okay. jewelry. I, I ain't no, ju- I ain't no yeah. jewelry nigga like it. Facts. But it can't, you know, bro, you got to pop your, this is what the game said to do. do. Now, okay, it's Roy turn. Yeah. I'm not finna half-ass it. I'm not finna half-ass it. When I dress it up, I'm finna dress it up. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And 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 whatever I do, it's gonna be a reflection of what I really got. You see what I'm saying? So anything that I did, bro, was a reflection of what I was willing to put into it. That was the image. All right, let me dress this shit up. Now it's like that shit don't even mean nothing to is, me. I done Is Roy putting all his strength into him, or do you think Roy? See, you you really seen, you really feel to me, it feel like you wanna be. And you going to be the, like, you want the label and push somebody. But is Roy putting it 100% into him? Have you have you put 100% because I'm that's, telling you just no, on the no, outside no. looking in, when you was putting that's, 100% in, as I know, it was like, everybody, 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 everybody. And it was just, you know what I'm saying? And people that's, like me be like, ooh, but, what are you going to do? But everybody, but in it, again, bro, people around my circle, no. Even through that gap, bro, I still wasn't just putting it all in. I have I, yet, I have yet to put a hundred percent into me, like yeah. with, with, with music. Okay, okay. bro, I'm th- and I'm talking about when I got in some type of position of a Nashville head. Like, okay, mm-hmm. he's a front runner. I ain't, man, bro, I cho- I chose Nashville, um, and that and that you know that came back to bite me in the ass. But that's why I fell back. But do you think like that's a? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you think that's kind of like a mental thing? Like you think like. I don't want to do nothing to make Nashville think that I'm going to leave them out. So let me keep on trying to stretch out just to prove this point that I'm for well, Nashville. And it kind of holds you back a little bit. Well, that came with some pressure. And I'm going to tell okay. you, I'm going to tell you why. Cause it got to a point, bro. I was the nigga. I ain't going to just say, say with the motion. I was the one I mean, doing that. No, that, no, no, no. I, just... I was the one doing the independent Shows, bloom, bloom, bloom. Yeah. So I was the guy being, hey, bro, can I get on your show? Man, bro, what I got to do? Hey, bro, what I got to do? That ain't some shit I was getting 10 plus years ago. But I was the one putting his money where his mouth was and created a platform that motherfuckers wanted to be on. Yeah, fact. It was the platform to be on. You see what I'm saying? So the fail back really came from, oh, okay, they turning on me. Because a lot of the rappers, I became the nigga. And that was another thing, bro. I'm a responder. That's what I had to get better at, too. I had to learn to just be quiet. Yeah. But I was a responder. Hey, man, everybody in Nashville know you. You got them to come at me. I'm coming I'm straight back yeah, at you. Yeah, yeah. I'm dropping songs. I'm name, I'm, I'm calling out names. Yeah. If it come down to that, I ain't I ain't one of them. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm all about the competition. Okay, so how do you pick your... Uh, just I'm just being, being honest with you. So how do you pick your friends in rap? As in, like, say, for instance, like... Uh, and I'm just being, being honest. Like, my friends in you, and, and And I'm just saying like this, like... We all uh came up on a I'm not I'm not I'm not this guy. Um people I, I and I wanna I wanna make this clear as with you know me and Buck been friends since we were kids. Mm-hmm. 
uh, real good friend. That's my best friend. He always mm-hmm. gonna be there. I'm always gonna pray for him. I'm always gonna love him. But that don't neglect Cook Up from coming on my show because I've been friends with Kick Up Cook Up since I was kids too. Yeah. And so, like, I'm just just neutral in that sense of when it comes to business, really, you know what I'm saying? So, for Roy, like, how do you pick your friends and rap who you be around when this guy might not like this guy or this guy might not like this guy, you know what I'm saying? And how do you kind of, how do you keep that cool to where then, like, you might want to do a song with Star, he might be in doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just in, into it, nobody, because ain't well, nobody into it, nobody. I'm just, how do you differentiate that? My friends in rap. Oh, uh, how do you keep it real with them? Like saying like, oh, you don't like this person's song? Because I've never been on that before. To be honest, I ain't never even had a conversation with nobody in this rap game about somebody I dealt with with rap. Even if I knew it, all right, this finna look like something. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a point in time, bro, I done a, uh, it was a point in time where I did do a record with Buck. Okay. Uh, I just when, seen you with Buck and, 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 uh, and drama. You know, you know when, what I'm saying? Yeah, when the, um... In the heat of the him and Lido situation. Facts. And everybody know me and Lido, but that wasn't my bit. I didn't one, I didn't even know that was coming. Mm-hmm. You know how it came, you know, but it came. Yeah. Uh, but uh didn't have nothing to do with me. Right. And that's something and then and that's something me and bruh never talked but about. But you got a but like, you also got a big you also got a big name and a big influence. Like um when something like that does happen, what do you step up and say? Cause you got a big influence. And so uh uh they, they say too much is given. Well much is- I, again, bro, I've seen I've seen I've seen this. Like I said, bro, like, you know, Leo, one of the main motherfuckers that I can say I've seen a lot and seen. I mean, you gotta look at it, bro. God and Dolph. Yeah, he had a relationship with both of them. Yeah, oh, Lito so, the nigga. Lito, first of all, Lito the nigga. That's no. Nah, I'm, I'm just saying. No, nah, I'm just using it as nigga. an example. Like Thanks. when we talking friends and rap. Oh, oh exactly. Um, you know, in doing music and stuff, like I ain't never had nothing. That was about the closest thing. Like, okay, they probably had something going on. I did something, but it, I didn't go do a song book because of they had oh, something. Oh no, no, I don't yeah, see but you anybody. Doing it. Anybody friends with rap, I pretty much came in the game with them. The only, it's two people within the rap game. That I can say I got like a brotherhood with now. Okay. That was through rap though. That's La Murder and Vac. Mm, two of my fuckers. Um, it ain't nobody else that I can say. Everybody pretty much else I kind of knew before rap. Okay. And when I, and when we talking friends, bro, I'm talking about like I really talked to them. Oh yeah, most of, uh, yeah, yeah them them probably thanks. the two through music. Okay. Um. That's probably the two through music that I could just literally say I'm literally like friends with them outside of yeah, this shit. Like yeah. friends, friends. Facts. Uh, oh, and Cali too. Okay. Like me and Cali oh, yeah. got a, uh, me and Cali got a relationship too. Yeah. And that's just through rap. Yeah. I can't say it's another rapper out here that I'm just on they line, talk mm-hmm. to, we talk about real shit. Uh, but oh, uh, Deuce too. Okay. Take it back, oh, that, Deuce. Oh, Deuce. Oh, that's Deuce. Deuce. Yeah, me we and Deuce about through you. music, me and Deuce created uh, but, but a bond you, outside of music too. But this too. what I'm saying. And I'm asking you a question. With you being doing the stuff you're doing, because you're not only doing rap, like it's with the shows and the entertainment whole. Why ain't people more connected to you, which they should be? Like, oh, even even when when you was in Bridgestone, um, I look at the I look at this as it's it's in the middle. You played that Kwani, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Some real nah, nigga wait, shit in. Nah, and, listen, and you know, it's, even though listen, we know it's going to rock it, listen, but listen. you still, what you know. What a thing. I mean, I could have got up and done my own shit. I, must have, my I mean, if I really wanted to. But the, thing, but the thing was this, bro. We had some out of town niggas, you know. They coming from out of town. And that's the thing, bro. It's pretty much out of town. Niggas coming. It's a respect move. thing. That was it's a respect a, it was thing a real to me. respect thing. Like, they, they come here, you know. Uh, DJ Fresh is from Ohio somewhere, if I am mistaken. You know, my guy, um. Got the DJ, uh, my guy, uh, he was DJing, and you know they just playing some shit, and it wasn't no Nashville music being played, and you know to me personally, me personally, Buck is standing right here, okay, and you trying to move a Nashville crowd. Now, whatever we got, whatever goes on when it when it mentions to Buck, that's home, that's okay. home business, oh, most definitely. Oh, but to be definitely. letting out of town is come around this motherfucker and act like he ain't. He ain't who he is. Oh, we ain't gonna. We, that's it, un, that's it ain't gonna unac- never happen. That's unacceptable. It ain't. It's super unacceptable. That's unacceptable. So he was right there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But at that same time, I'm from out east. So you know, <laughs> I, I you know I'm back here. You know, we backstage. I said, hey, buddy, we got to play some Nashville shit. We coming through Nashville, homie. He said, oh man, what you got? What you got? I said, man, I said, shit. I said, I got a song for you. I said, this is what I want you to play. 
Here go a little something. Let me go out here. Let me round Cashville up the Cashville way one time. So when I done this shit, I come off stage buck right there. That nigga buck out loud. Well, that's some of the realest shit I ate. That's hey, some of the realest shit I done ever seen. I f- but again, bro, I'm for Nashville, yeah, homie. Yeah. Like, I'm for Nashville, bro. Like, Thanks. I'm for Nashville, homie. And, then, you know, it just come a time, bro, where we get to going hard on our own. You know, sometimes it is the, okay, they probably did expect me to take my ass on. Like, all right, nigga, you, you, done, you done beat on a dead horse around this mother. And, you know, that was part of it, too, for is me. Is there anybody? I'm just, I'm just and, and, and I'm just speaking from, I'm just speaking from the whole rap lane. Is there anybody that's supposed to speak up more? I feel like you do. Speak up more. Just I feel like I, I feel like supposed I, it, to. It, it's, yeah, I, th- I, I feel like you supposed to speak up a little more. Um, Q, you know, I always tell Q he did yeah. kind of, and I'm talking about like people like paper. Like I think that y'all got the the voice to say, "Hey, man, we finna bring this together." Like you know what I mean? And and listen. not only say it once, but say it a couple listen. times. Listen, listen. Yeah, bro, it is that. But but you know, we we in Cashville. Yeah, but and still, I and I ain't saying other markets don't go through this. No, not at all. You got you got to understand why we shut the fuck up sometimes too, though. Why? That's why I want to know. You want to know why? Yes, yes, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got you here. Hey, man, Nigga, well, I'm a, you here, well, I'm gonna well, speak Nigga. for Roy. Yeah, speak for Roy. The love turned into to hate. Okay. And what's the hate for? What's the hate for? All I'm doing is what I'm supposed to do. At the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, Roy ain't do nothing but what Roy was supposed to do yeah. as an artist, okay. as a businessman, uh-huh. and that's somebody that's trying to create a platform for other artists to shine on. Like, do you do you understand the magnitude of the Break the Cycle show, homie? Like, let me ask you this. What do you know? Not, like, like, you know I'm coming on your show. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'm assuming you do some homework yeah. on, on the artist. I do a- you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about, I ain't talking about just messy shit or shit to just rile people up because that's what people get going. We just talk about facts right now. Yeah. What do you know about that show? What do you know about that show? Just oh, off what the what, highlight. Have of, you ever been to one? A Break the Cycle show. Have you ever been no. to one? Okay, and you got out of what year? I got out of 17. Okay, you got out of 17. My yeah. first show was August 17. Okay. And I've done them shows for like three to four years. I so I'm going to ask you this. Why didn't you come to one? Well, I didn't know about it. How didn't you not know about it? Um, I don't because you, nah, you told think. me you was you told me you was the man when it come to media and all this shit. How did you well, not? I know? I just got I I just, because when I first I came home in seven I came home in seventeen. Okay, I didn't get into me to the media till like a year and a half ago. Okay, I was still rocking, still pushing. Why? But look, why, why had you not came? You told me you ain't know about it. How you ain't know about it? Look, well, I I, I knew about all your shows you had. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Why didn't you come? And, I don't know. I I can't. Talk I can't to say. Me. Talk um, to me. I can't say. I can't tell you a reason why I didn't come. Like I really don't go out like that. I'm. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm okay, gonna t- you don't I'm, go out there I'm like a, that. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Talk to me, nigga. I'm gonna tell you the one hundred percent truth. Why you ain't come to a show? Uh, before I went to prison. Okay. Um, and we can go back to that. 20, 2011. I was VIP at everything okay. that I've ever because I threw so many shows and I've done so much in Nashville. And so I've always felt like if I'm not really invited to a show like that, I'm not coming. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, let me and talk. And that's just. Okay. But, okay. but um, when it comes to uh, what you're doing, I have always lifted up at the top tier. That's why I know so, about so it, all so it, the so stuff. So it did. So it, it was based off of I didn't get a direct invite. Well, no. It wasn't really based off. It was just based off like I didn't get a. I don't like. I don't even really go out unless I get a. And That's you what gotta, I'm saying. Think, I, so it, it was. Down, I left on that, and so I understand that. So it was. It boiled down to a well, bro. You know, we wasn't really just because you know you ain't nobody. Me and you ain't nobody that's really like direct. You know, we might see it like man, familiar face. Yeah, ever fuck with ever. some of the same mutual niggas. But I should have though. Yeah, just what I'm saying. No, but, I'm, but you I'm is basing, but you is, but you, is, but you is basing this off a of direct well, type of thing, I, right? Look. Much as I love what you were doing, yeah, I should have just took my rag glass on and bought a ticket. Okay. Because I have to be the same example that I'm telling people to be. All right, now stop right there. You just answered your own question. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm keeping it with you. But you just answered your own question. I'm keeping it real. So when you say, man, Roy, why they on, bloom, 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 bloom. A lot of these niggas, bro, need me to directly say something to them instead of just. What's up? But as an artist. Wouldn't you say I did everything I was supposed to do to make you want to? Oh, go? you did everything. Like even 
it, like I said, even with me talking about the cash doll and bringing dudes oh, yeah. out, and you know, cause we us Nick, we hear everything about it, and even when I'm talking about at Bridgestone playing quantity music, like. A nigga uh, really is aware of what you're doing, but even me, I need to support it more. And I'm talking to any nigga in Nashville. If okay, we're gonna say this, and I want you to do this. If El Water Boys do a show, I wanna see you niggas show up. I wanna see, no, I wanna see the rappers first of all. I always say this. Y'all want people to support y'all when y'all ain't supporting nobody and pass all the BS. This nigga has bought people to this town that would never came to this town unless he made it happen. What else you know about this show? Just from what you hear. I don't the highlight was it where the boy came out there and kept it real and paid quantity shit and and opened up and that shit. That was my show though. That I know was it the, your show. Of the street. I know it was I know it was legends of, uh, you know, I know, yeah. I know what but I'm just saying, like, you should be happy that the highlight was that you kept it real. Oh, I'm damn proud, bro. That's all like I'm I, saying. Like I, nah, I'm, nah, I'm damn proud. I'm damn proud of a lot of shit, homie. Because yeah. one thing about it, homie, they, they can't tell. They can't tell you about a time I didn't keep it solid. Even I when I'm, even when I'm telling them some shit so they don't want to hear. So is it your fault that you ain't like you could beat the you could beat the nigga, and is it you falling back? Because I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Oh, the fall back was crazy. I'm gonna tell you something. No rapper can ever come to me talking about they need national support because I've been with too many of them. That has got deals, and uh, I'm gonna say this on record. I and I ain't even supposed to be saying that they gonna get, me, get mad at me. East Wicked, high CNCP. Yeah. Uh, we was in Chattanooga. We opened up for Baby and the Hot Boys. Mm. Baby came on the bus where we were. We was on tour bus. Mm. Baby came on tour bus and told them, "High CNCP, y'all come on with us right now. We gonna make y'all some stars." Yeah. And I just want to take a little. They second. turned it down, and so they turned it down. Yeah. KP was mad, bro. Everybody was mad. They turned it down. So I'm, what I'm, on, on thing I'm saying is like, no artist in Nashville can make an excuse to me because I've been around too many of them that that it had their chance. It ain't no, it ain't no excuses to make, bro. And I do want to shout out East Wicked because, like, oh, like, that's my guy. Like I said, I, I come, Wicked. I come from the grinding of it. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? CP. And I hope they don't get mad at me. CP, I'm gonna say this on record. You nigga, you niggas lucky CP didn't. Didn't do what he do. Nah, see, the thing CP would have been best. Like, 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 he, bro, he, CP really the best rapper like, out here. Like real talk, bro. I was, I was probably about, man. I had to be about like nine or ten walking to the store one day, and he came up and sold me they CD. Now don't get me wrong, bro. All I had was ten. I was a young nigga. All I had was ten dollars on me. Mm. And he stopped me right in front of the store, got my ten dollars up out of me. I ain't even get to go to the store. <laughs> Went back home, popped the CD in. We going to ride together, get yeah, high together. Now, the thing was, bro, it took me, I did a song with them. I had them on a song in, uh, was it 2020? Okay. I got them back together on a song. Uh, basically, kind of a remake of that song, kind of. Yeah, I heard uh, that. I heard I know And that. Um, talking to him that day, bro, he was 15 years old when he sold me the CD. Wow. 15. 15, bro. So who was 15. the niggas who you respected, like, coming up? Then that you finna start rapping, who the, who who is the guys that? And like, I know you respect them all, but yeah. who's the guys like them? Them I respect them. You know what uh, I'm saying? Like just to really want to get in it like that. You know what I'm saying? To get in it. To get it. To, yeah, to get in it. To, to get in it. Because you get, know it's always. Yes. You know what I'm saying? To, to get, get in it. it yeah. First top of the list is Chan. Okay. Woohoo! Chan. Don't nobody. Don't nobody, see, that's another don't, one. nobody don't nobody talk about my dog. Oh, okay. Well, I listen, I, I listen, apologize, Chan. Listen. Chan. Don't nobody talk about my dog. The truth. Listen, listen, homie. Cause you know, and we can get all into this top this Mount yeah, Rushmore. We get it, you know, like, we, yeah. you know, we get it, we get in all that in a little <laughs> okay. minute. Cause I got my yeah. take on that okay. too. <laughs> but uh, to make me get in it, okay, you know, Chan was top of the list for me. Was yeah, top of the list. Uh, then it was Untamed. Do Marco get enough enough credit Marco for what he's doing? Marco Chaco. Marco Chaco. Do he get enough credit? No. For, well, for, 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 for what he the music. The, everything. Just, just everything. Uh, nah. But again, Mark, you know he OG, bro. Yeah, you know he o, he, he OG. OG. You know you know OG. and you know people you know people like to forget, homie. Yeah, you know, yeah. but he's somebody that putting his money where his mouth is since day doing. one. And and a lot of the times, bro, he putting his money where his mouth is on some people that he believe in. Ooh. 
They don't, they don't, you know, they, man, that shit goes overlooked, homie. It's, it's, it's a it, lot. Hey, man, it's, it's, a e- lot. It's, even, it's easy to overlook some money that ain't yours, bro. Yeah, okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, they'll let you, goddamn it, do this. Mm-hmm. Homie, I done done some shit for some artists, bro, and provided some shit for some artists that they probably wouldn't even provide for for themselves yeah. if they had Thanks. the role to do it. Thanks. I've seen it but done. That, but does that mean that you just believe? But they come. You know what I'm it saying? It ain't even about believe. I believe in what I'm going on, and okay. this is how we should look. Okay. But again, bro, a lot of these artists step on my stage. They ain't broke ass niggas. What they about, can do it. They can do it too. Is what, what I'm saying. What That's about what Kilo I'm culture. Like Kilo with, with the with, with culture. Like, are we supporting culture enough? Just knowing that. Uh, do he get enough props of he got a black club in there? Nah, too? he don't get enough props. You know what I'm saying? And that's my dog. And you know, know, and a lot of this shit get, you know, we 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 play the we play the game. Okay. You the, we play the game. If and 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 I take that back too. Okay. He's another one. Okay. Through music. Well, uh, uh, through music. Okay. You know, I'm glad you know when you get to yeah, ask I, these I, questions, I'm you know you just gotta think. Yeah. But my my, my bad. Yeah, the way you brought up new shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh Kilo is another oh, one. Yeah. Through music, and you know, because me and Kilo is somebody, bro, like we really went a gap without talking to each other and didn't even know why. Mm-hmm. Two years and came back and was like, big ass misunderstanding. Like, and, and bro, that took out, man, to be able to do that in this game goes a long way. Wait, People don't survive that, homie. They just stop talking, don't know why. Oh, man, that nigga, man, it's funny. It's, then it start to sneak dissing and all that. We ain't never get on that type of time. But when it come to culture, a lot of this shit come from, like, if I post something, I always, now it gets to a point, bro, I, I've created a name for myself. Uh-huh. If I post it, they know oh, it's, Roy it's, N. It's real, yeah. Roy N. Oh, yeah. that's Roy. Like, so, but is that good lot, or bad? It would you, I mean, on I my, think, it, I think well, it's good. I think it's, it's good, good for on, me. On, okay, okay, it's good for me. Okay, but I'm saying this to say a lot of times y'all taking credit from a nigga that's really dropping his own. A lot of this shit ain't me. This is me supporting my nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, and he gets it a lot. We laugh yeah. off this shit. We laugh off this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ah, right, motherfucker, come to me. All your roy that, roy that. Man, if that's what y'all want to think, and if that's what'll help y'all. Come in here, it, work cool. the move. Yeah, work the now, move. We understand that. If it take you thinking Roy, it's Roy oh, move on, to get get, get in the building, get in well, come, come on, on, let's with, rock with yeah, it. But yeah. going on record, since you brought it up, uh-huh. I can't discredit the hard earned time and money because it's a hard, it's a, it's a lot of hard work that my nigga is putting oh, into that man, motherfucker. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Then it's Bro, like we in club. I've been in club yeah. business. Since then you know I peep. <sighs> then, you know, and it's a game like, and I'm pretty sure it's different for him, bro, because it's one thing to get critique. Through the music, mm-hmm. now he is getting critiqued as a club owner. Yeah, you know what I'm that, saying. Yeah. So it's like you gotta see it. Yeah, you gotta listen to it. It's like God damn, y'all hard over. You know what I'm saying? And it's some people that in the streets they're smiling your face. Yeah, they cool. Y'all ain't got no issue, no beef. This just your establishment. So sometimes, but also, it's the people are in that works in there that represent him. Uh-huh. So. As a club owner, you can't see everything, but you got to listen to everything. And all you can do is take the heat from it. Oh, y'all saying this. Oh, y'all saying that. Y'all saying this. Y'all saying that. But when when we really talk about culture, bro, man, it's one of the best looking spots in the city. I'm like, he he put the bread in it. He he put the bread in it. I love Uh, culture. He's bringing the axe. It's, you know, he get, he, you know, he might get flack for some of the most, of the smallest shit. Man, my nigga, hold up, homie. My nigga ain't had no incidents in that motherfucker. Police ain't never had to come there and shut that motherfucker down. Ain't nobody, I don't even hear nobody complaining about homie, it. Motherfucker, uh, 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 shit, ain't been no shootings. Motherfucker ain't been on the news. None of that. None of that. You know, but somebody, you know, somebody brought you But they'll come in there and talk about some of the most craziest shit. Like, oh, they ran out of water. I ain't going, man, get the fuck out of here with that. Look, you know what I'm saying? Some, like, somebody brought you up, you know what I'm saying? I'll, you know, I'll be talking about my Mount Rushmore's and all uh, this yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? They talk to me. I'm going to tell you, like, uh, one of my best interviews, it's like, a I enjoyed it. No, 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 secret. Ah. But one of my best interviews, I enjoyed the Big Fridge. Okay. Yeah, what Big Fridge said. What he's say? Y'all niggas going to have to stop leaving my nigga air water boy out this shit. Man, listen, bro. Well, you can talk to me. You got to get what yes. you know. What I'm saying if you got a problem with me or the boy, you can't have <laughs> no, it. Me. Pro- hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if I can do no, my wrong listen, first, boy, listen, but I respect listen, you. Listen, I respect listen. You. <laughs> <laughs> nah, listen, homie. check this out. Check this out. Nah, check this out. Okay. Straight up, I'm gonna okay. keep it a book. <laughs> when we talk, when we talking Mount Rushmore's and the best and all that kind of shit. Yeah. Now, <laughs> all right, all right. So. Mount Rushmore's. 
let's talk the criteria. Okay. Cause you, I, I peep your show. Okay, I'm I like watching. It. I like it. Now like the it. part of this shit is, at some point Nashville got to get it correct as a whole. Ooh, as a whole. I want to bring about three, four of y'all motherfuckers in oh, here. Like, just as to be a whole. No, as a whole though. As a whole. Yeah. So, so it's just like, and and it got to be all respect. So yeah. So when we talk Mount Rushmore's, it's many ways you can, you can, you can juggle this thing. Yeah. So. Let's just start with one. When we talk around Mount Rushmore, <laughs> what is the criteria that if you live subscribe is going off of? Because you, you asked the, you. Hold up, I'm hold up, hold up. That. Listen to me, listen to me. Listen to that. me. You real loose with this question, meaning you ask this motherfucker out of nowhere. You could be in smack. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Who's your top five? Blah, blah, blah. And you are asking out of nowhere. So I'm asking, when you ask this, what is the criteria that you asking for when you I'm, ask this? I'm finna, I'm finna tell you something. Give me the criteria. Well, guess what? They finna be mad at me because of this. Okay, talk to me. I changed the criteria of the round Mount Rushmore. Okay. We only talking four people when you say this, right? We only talking four people. Okay, what's the criteria? Look. And I want I want to come up with something with you tonight. Um, you can't be on the Mount Rushmore if you're just a rapper. Just a if, rapper? if if you has just rapped. So what's the criteria? That was, no, it, 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 it changed for you me. You can't just say that. What's no, the criteria? It changed. What the we criteria about? is this: Mount Rushmore. You've been a great rapper. You has supported your community. You has actually did something outside of Nashville. And you have been an influencer. Guess what, Errol? They're going to be mad at me for saying this. You and my Mount Rushmore. Guess why? Guess why? I swear to God. Don't just say this shit. Guess why? What? I'm putting it on on my life. You're saying don't say this shit. I'm putting it on my life. Because I am now going with the people that's influenced. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it to you. My Mount Rushmore is this. It's Kwani. Pistol, Elroy the boy, Thorn Buck. Okay, why Pistol? This is why Pistol. Because he was. So, so what's the criteria again? Well, the criteria. You said not just rapping. Not just rapping. Hey, influence. Uh, um, Pistol was the first person that made us believe that you could actually make it outside of Nashville. Okay, that's music, though. I know. Give me I another know. reason why Pistol. But it was. It, it, I'm, that's why I said the influence. Cause it, it it influenced it it showed me that you can the influence I really put you in there I why, put you okay why me because when I came home mm-hmm. you was the only nigga doing everything yeah you was investing in you you were throwing your shows you was you was you, you was you was rapping the hell out of some shit you was actually getting features like you was really doing the business of rap. Yeah, and true. actually investing money in Nashville. So I'm talking about the people that actually has invested something in Nashville. And I get, okay. well, I don't give that loosely. But for me, you got to think, I start off at promoter passing out flowers and stuff. So for me to come home and all I'm hearing is, Edward the boy, Edward the boy, he doing this, he doing this, he doing that. Like, that's the influence of this rap shit really works. Okay, then let me ask you this. Like, when it come to records and it come to, uh, positions, Robert. Like people can be knocked off, right? Like I me, mean, people can't people be replaced. Well, you got I mean, just everybody because right. See, see that way. That's what. That's why I. No, I'm saying. So when we do it, like maybe I'm the maybe I'm maybe I'm on the maybe I would be on the Mount Rushmore for today's time. Well, you know how they try to. You know the basketball shit. They try to separate them at times. Well, I I ain't gonna do that. You know, I'm, but I ain't I'm, even just talking I'm, about I'm going me. through my time. I'm going through my time. I really 100% put you in them because of the influence. Like the imp to me. Well, let me ask you this. The influence well, is me, bigger. Well, let me ask you this. What took you so long? Because you ain't said it on now show. Well, me. I haven't. I just changed it. That's what I was telling my, I was telling him, look, no, this is some. look, this is something new. Yeah. I really, I'm going on Chad Arms, them show on the fourth. I really was going to debut this on their show. Yeah. But just because you hear. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm debuting. That's my, that's my nigga. Like, it's really like, I uh, respect the influence more than the rap now. Yeah, that's and true. this shit just changed. Like, yeah, that's true. this is this is some real nigga shit. Like, I don't, I don't got no boss. Like, I've always been my own boss. I always had my own thinking. Mm-hmm. And now, I like the influence more. I like your influence more than I like your rap. 
Yeah, I like yeah. Quanti influence more than I like his rap. I like Buck influence. I like Star influence. I like Pistol. I like they influ- y'all influence now way more than rap. Yeah, I, because I, I understand with me being a promoter, I understand the money that you has invested in making something crack for Nashville. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I put you in there real talk so they can yeah. say what they want to say. But you know, it's... They're going to be you, mad at me, too. Yeah, but you know, it's many ways to look at that, man. Because it's, uh... I mean, you got your Mount Rushmore's, like... And paper like, is in there. It's just, I can't... I can't put everybody... Paper is in there, too, with me. I can't put everybody well, it's, in it's, there. Listen, bro. But it's, it's, it's just a different... It's, it's, it's okay to have different criteria. Yeah. So, like, right now, you coming on coming on Wax basically saying, today I'm talking a criteria of influence. So I, I, I really so, just changed yeah, that shit. So, so, you know, but then we do have the criteria of music success. Like, of... So, when we talk music success, you know... There are many of them, though. Okay. Yeah, but you, if you if you be so, and I'm not and this and this, and this ain't this ain't, okay. Give me three. Give me three. Give me three. Music success. You uh, said only maybe three or four. Give them to me. I, I'm, I'm gonna give you the, the the three most music success is Kwani, Star, and Buck. Okay, stop right there. Okay, stop right there. Kwani, Star, and Buck. That if, if I if I'm gonna say music okay. success. Okay, okay. Now we have to go off. Black and white. Like what's really on record. Like shit that really happened. Yeah, most definitely. Okay. I hate stack name ain't brought up. He just ain't mine. No, no, no. We not but, talk- uh, No, 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 but, but no, paper. no, 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 no. Oh, Stop. we talking hold on, paper. Hold on, I get hold on, it. hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. Okay. He just ain't. Just- hey, bro, we understand that every artist ain't a fan favorite. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we understand that. But it's paper. We don't look. Everybody's I, bro, up. you know Haystack still touring today. Most definitely, yeah. I, now, do you know that? No, I didn't know, but I but no, no. Up. Go, yeah, look, I go follow Haystack. Haystack is still touring today. Well, you, do you remember? Hold on, let's go. Hold on, Pete. Jelly Roll. Pete. Again. Okay, you got to bring. So up. how we just limited to those three? So that's because we talking criteria. No, can, I'm talking about just music. Okay. okay. Then we talk. Well, now we just talking music. Says Pistol really made it. Can I say this? So how we ain't talking about that? Okay, Cool Daddy Fresh. Bro, he sold a hundred plus thousand copies. He got an NDA on me. I can't oh, say it now. paper. Oh, okay, well, name. I don't know about that. I don't know. <laughs> no, but we talking. Oh, this me talking. Okay. But yeah, I'm just saying, when we a, talk I these, I bro. I would have bought it. Hundred some thousand units, bro. Yeah. Like this shit now, if that's some fake shit, then it fooled me. I'm but, even but putting the jelly way, roll in this the, conversation. So, but what, so I'm saying I that to say. I can't say three then. So I'm saying that. that to say, like, when we really get to talk about, talking about that, all I'm saying is, Real respect has to go into that, and it yeah. goes outside of who we think better and all, and all that kind of shit. It goes into I really, really don't like think nobody. But I'm, I'm I'm gonna tell you this. Let me let, look. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this in good faith. My nigga Deuce is a bad motherfucker. Deuce a bad boy. Deuce, don't we just talking rap? Deuce, we just talking rap. Okay, we just talking. Let's go down line. Yeah, we just talking rap. Deuce, Deuce a bad boy. Hello Dante. It's just a lot of people. And I know y'all had some words one time. Are y'all okay now? Who? Me and who? You know, hello, Dante. Are y'all, <laughs> hey. y'all all right? No, it ain't no smoke like that. I, but it's, I, it's no, one I, of them. No, no, no. no. Just, it, ain't, it, ain't no it ain't no smoke like that. Yeah. But it, it is a situation where I didn't know him. What happened? Man, to be honest. Okay, <laughs> see, look, Pete. Look, see, no, look, 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 see. Look, look, see. See. Now this is the part where the the, the interview kind of. Ch- I don't even know what kind of time limit we're on. But this 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 oh, we on the time this where the shit kind of this where the shit kind of okay. turned for me. Oh, okay. See, okay, you ain't asked him none of this. <laughs> I didn't. I might but didn't know when he came. You didn't know when he came. I didn't know. You didn't I, know me and him had words. No, not I didn't know it. He, 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 somebody told me that after, after he came, the fact. This is what I, I did. That's what. Oh, okay. I just, well, you know. Well, but you a real one. Well, you know what I'm saying. No, there ain't no filter with me. I, I don't, don't know what happened. Okay. You know what I'm saying. I don't know what happened. Okay. You know, all I know is I was addressing a matter. I ain't even gonna speak on who. I was addressing a matter. He came left field. Damn, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't you, know, you know You know the I problem not, I got with I it? I did not know him you know, at all. You know the problem I got with it? With Cause, that, cause that both, situation? Yeah, because both of y'all niggas some good niggas. But, it wasn't, know, no, but it wasn't no, no it, aggressive. It, it wasn't no smoke. He you know wanted to keep it wrapped. Okay. That was... 
That's one thing about me, bro. I know how to keep it wrapped. Rap, yeah. I know how to keep it wrapped. Fact. It wasn't on no, like it wasn't no situation, bro. I could get disrespectful in the song, homie. Yeah. I don't know him. And if yeah, we're going to get disrespectful, we're not rapping. We in the same city. We're not rapping. Fact. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, I don't know what happened, bro. But he, 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 he took his angle. You. He took his angle, bro. <laughs> he, he took his angle at me. And, it, and that shit didn't work. That shit didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? Then it got to the point where, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker acting like they ain't say this and they ain't say that. And when, hey, homie, like, hey, all right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I can see him. He can see me. And we and it, straight. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. But oh, ain't no it, ain't, it ain't nothing now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I got word of something that he was trying to do for his show. You know what I'm saying? I got word, and it was all respect. He tried it. No, but, but, but both of y'all when, solid though. Yeah, and no, I just he, had that. Cause from, I, I gotta ask what the look, people want to know. No, look, but from what I heard, I, I didn't know him, bro. Is you hearing me? I didn't know this nigga. <laughs> okay. But when he did all that, oh homie, now you got my attention. Let's go. <laughs> like, like, oh. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? But he did reach out a few times again, bro. Tried to get on my show. The platform was what it was. Hey man, but bro, I already be having this how shit do you, together. How do you? Okay, this is what I'm saying. So, again, because we everybody gonna have a problem with this because you know I I got mad at you one time when you had Cash Doll and uh Light Skin Keisha on that show and you didn't put no girls on them. Okay, stop right and there. And so how do how stop, do people get right, on stop, Steroid right, Boy show? Stop right there because you're doing stop the big right, show. Stop, stop right there though. We'll stop right there though. All right, I remember that day. I, I had a little murder. I said, man, bro, what the fuck is nigga? You know what I mean? I'm like, bro, yeah. what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah. Bro, pretty shy had already been on one of my shows. But you just made it, you just made that statement not valid <laughs> off what you just <laughs> told me about. I, I said what you, I felt. Hold, hold up, hold up. I said what and I And that's felt. cool, but somebody got to check you sometime, P. Yeah. I'm cool with just it. Just because you I'm say cool it, don't make it valid. I'm cool with that. You just made it not okay. valid because okay. I told I asked you why hadn't you came to a show. Okay. Yeah. I done everything to make you want to come to a show. You said show you did. didn't get a direct envelope. Blah, 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 blah. Bro, you would know that Pretty Shy had already been on one of my shows. Okay. But then you asked me, Roy, why you ain't put 100% into you? That was me putting 100% into me. Show wasn't for nobody else. It was me. That was a headline show. Wasn't no opening acts. That's why I like you because you, no, you, you ain't scared of me. No, nah, look. People nah, be scared of me. You ain't scared of me. It was of me. Cash Dog, like Elroy, and Light Skin Keisha. That was good. Though. Do you think I went first, second, or last? Uh, probably about what would you go second? It's L. Rudder Boy, Light Skin Keisha, and Cash Dog. You, you think go? I went first, second, or last? You probably went first. Why would you think I went first? Why would you think? Because you I said went it, first? L. Rudder Boy, Light Skin Keisha, and Cash Dog. You just said. I'm just saying, off that lineup and just how, what would you th- What position did you think I would went in that show? They got performed first, second, or last. Well, just just me, just me doing shows. I would think it was first. Okay, no, that was. I went second. Okay. That was strategic. It was a headline show. Right. You know, uh, at that time, Cash Doll was the big. Well, first of all, both of their names was, was bigger than, oh, bigger than mine was, when yeah. it comes to the. But who you think sold the most tickets for that show? Mm, who sold the most Whose tickets? name? Yeah, what the boy. Well, yeah, just make sure yeah, we on the same page. You know what I'm saying? You I'll let. Yeah. You I know like what I mean? That. So it's one of them things where it's like, that was for me. Fact. Bro, I had done shows, homie. Like, like breaking down this break the cycle show, homie. Nigga, we had rehearsals. You know what I mean? All that shit. You know, now I got talked in by an artist to do the rehearsals. Okay. And this my guy, not even gonna yeah. say his name. Say but name. he talked. No, I'm not gonna say, say his name. Say that. Nah, I'm not gonna say his name. <laughs> Kilo. But he no, nah, no, nah, okay. hell no. Nah. Okay. It ain't that wasn't in it. But okay. Okay. he talked, it was the first show back in mm-hmm. 2017. He talked me into doing rehearsals. He said, bro, man, rehearsals, man, it just it brings better energy to the show, and come show day, bro, shit just flows smoother. He never made it to a rehearsal. <laughs> so I done something, put my money into it, it, and he never showed to a rehearsal. <laughs> now, he could have been working and all this, but it's the fact that I really got the idea to do the rehearsals from an artist that I asked to be on the show, and he never showed to the rehearsals. But as... Dude, this rehearsal, better not be you. No, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't okay, do. Okay, good. And, and when the rehearsal do, started, I do name and, look, my, and, when the, and when the rehearsal started, I took a lot. Okay, preparation. 
So I took this shit to a whole nother level. Now I'm bringing artists in. Bro, we bumping our heads. Bro, we really critiquing each other. Everybody that's coming in there really not comfortable with performing. Like, bro, that's another thing. This was not, not no club show. Yeah. You are. You know how motherfuckers get on sales. Exactly. Go back to the hard and ticket we, And everybody know we putting on a real show. We not rocking no club. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, these people got to want this show back in here. So we ain't showing our ass. Yeah. We showing Nashville what we really bring to the table. Yeah. So um, we doing rehearsals. We doing all that. Then we went, Nashville went through a phase, bro, of uh, everybody was feeling like they that. Everybody feeling like they worth this. How did then the show we, do with Cash Doll them? Just to, shit went great. Man, okay, I sold that motherfucker oh, out. Okay, good. Yeah, no, that, that, that look. So hold up. So you what now? Again, I didn't. So what's wrong with you, P? Shit, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Like, like, no, 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 now I'm gonna ask you. Now I'm gonna ask out. you. Now I'm gonna ask you because you, you somebody, you somebody with a hell of a bro. You have a great thing going. I didn't. At the no, time, no. Listen to me, P. Time, you have a no. great thing going. Most definitely. And. I've seen you go on wax of so supporting the bloom, bloom, bloom. Bro, you got to be an example of that. Most definitely. One percent. Like, no. like, and 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 when we talking about somebody like me, the people can't keep on hearing you say you ain't supported me Fact. in that kind of way. Fact. Because I'm telling you, as a city, we have to show up for you in that kind. You have a great thing going on. I will bro. support you. Uh, uh you I'm, have a I'm, great thing going. I'm going on wax right now. I you will have a great thing I, going. I will support you in what you do, uh, whatever you do. Coming up, I will support you. I ain't, I ain't one of these niggas that come come here and tell you like, oh, but no, I, I have supported you in you what been, I'm saying. You ever been to Marathon Music Works? Yeah, I've been there one time. That was the show. In oh, I, I, no, 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 I saw everything. No, that, that, no, nigga, that's that was show the camera. Show the camera the show. Tell the right, show the that camera. That's the crowd. That's your camera right there, right here. No, I, look, that's I, the res crowd. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But, but you can't. But you I can't. I will support you in in going forward. But you can't. No, it ain't even about just me, P. I it's about what it's though. about. No, you can't. I am. Why, why you ain't? Nigga, hey. I wouldn't. Have. Hey, man, <laughs> you can't tell a motherfucker to subscribe to this thing if you ain't even popping up at a show that feel, that's, that's deserving of it. You're right. And I ain't just talking about me. You're but right. this is why I speak up for Nashville. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Because I am that nigga that will pop out unannounced. Facts. Bro, everybody that been on my show, everybody that been on my show, homie, I've had over 40 artists to bless the Break the Cycle show stage, bro. Facts. On my dollar. And not only that, I give them the tickets. Motherfuckers feel like they worth something. Man, how much you going to pay me? I ain't paying you shit. But you can go take and sell however many tickets, tickets you want, you want and it's your money. Your money. Facts. So picture me putting all this money, and I ain't talking about no small money, homie. Yeah. All right, wait, I ain't talking about no small money. But no, what I'm saying is, I under, I get no, it. listen to me. Can you picture yourself putting 20 plus thousand dollars into something and giving somebody else a piece of the revenue? I've done it. I've I'm been saying, a promoter. So, so you know what I'm saying. I've been a promoter since so I was So basically what young. I'm saying so is, I, I, if an artist, I, I, so, I totally if, get if it. An, if an artist got the ticket, now don't get me wrong, bro. A lot of these artists probably would have took two, three hundred. Mm -hmm. No. If you, and shout out uh, to my girl, uh, Sweets. She one of them that are literally. Sweet Poison. Yeah, she, you know. On, on, That's on, my, nah, hold look, up. Sweet Poison. No, nah, but I'm just, I'm bringing her up. That's my best artist in the world. I'm, Sweet I'm, Poison is my top I'm artist. I'm bringing her up. Just because, be honest. I'm bringing her up because she is somebody that. Well, take advantage of that. Oh, however many I sell, however many you sell. That's my, that's my best so, artist right there. If she went out and sold 60 tickets, and she got close one time, $600 performance. Mm. But it was some artists only sold 20. Mm. Some only sold 10. Some of them said they don't sell tickets. And that's their fault. Let me ask you a question. You know what I mean? So Let, it's it's different strokes. Homie. Let me ask you. you know I, I, mean? I, I want to ask you this. Like, what's the why do everybody once they start rapping or get in the line, like think that they they the big the biggest celebrity? Like, how can you stay humble within being and I, and, and this is for you because you don't come out that much, you do what you do. How can you stay humble with being an artist and still showing the support? Oh, how can you stay humble? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I ain't saying, don't, no, no Are you, we're not going to lose humble. How can you, how can you still just support with, with no, even though like, I'm going to use you for example, you are fucking somebody. So right. if Air Runner Boy is going online and say, hey, we going to Little Bree concert tonight or we going here, everybody going to be like, okay, it's cool to go. So how do you stay humble in that way to make sure that you in places where people know it's cool to go. I'm really a fan first. Okay. A lot of these people came on the wave of, I can do that shit too. I really sold dope. I'm really in the streets. 
I'm really popping that pistol. I'm really doing what these niggas ain't doing. And that's how they enter the game. Mm -hmm. So they not entering the game as a fan. They entering the game on some, nigga, I'm really doing what they ain't doing. Facts. So they yeah. enter the game that way. Bro, I was really just a fan Thanks. of this shit. Yeah. Before I even started rapping, I was just a fan. Yeah, so me too. The fan, the fan, so the fan shit never went away. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The fan shit never went away. But how do you pick where you go out now? Because everybody's doing everything. Oh. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm, I'm telling you this on If Your Last Scribe Show. Like, you are really a pillar in the community. And if Ero the Boy is saying this is cool, people are doing it. So how are you picking and choosing what you're doing uh, now? Because there's a lot of people doing some cool stuff. <laughs> it got to, uh, man, I'm going to be honest. Uh, when I am in that mode, uh, I pick and choose really based off. I'm going to pick and choose really where, uh, where I'm comfortable at, first and foremost. Okay. And when if, I say comfortable, if they have I ain't somewhere just, at a yeah, cool it, place. It, it got, it got it to be, be a cool place, first yeah, of all. Yeah, nowadays, it, yeah. it, got, it, oh, definitely, it definitely, you know what I'm saying? But, 100%. I, 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 but I'll pop out in them trenches too, still, but it's okay. it's unannounced. I ain't, I ain't making no announcement for that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I you should sometimes because people got some stuff going on and your word means something. Yeah, but... See, that's the problem but, I got with but, a lot of but, you guys that, that word means something. Like, I don't say this to every... You ain't gonna never hear me go on my show and tell everybody your word means something, but if word a boy, your word means something. I know that, bro. So I you have that. to... But, but so again, this Even just, when the young artist, hey. like what you just said about Sweet Sweet Poison, that means a lot to her like you putting her... But see, but see, me and Sweet, me and Sweet came up like same time with this shit. That that's that's like some shit that ain't even a secret. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When it comes like, you know what I'm saying? She just and she's still pushing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still just in like sometimes I just pop up on her like on some out of nowhere. Like yeah. I literally go, nigga, and motherfucker ain't heard from me in the in a year. Yeah. Motherfucker ain't never heard. But if I need to just Hey, I see what you're doing. Keep doing your shit. Yeah, facts, hey. It's more like that a man, where the a, fuck you been at? You know lot. what I'm saying? But you know, I, I do that to artists still. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you do that. You, you you do that. You do that in your personal time. But this what I'm finna. This what I'm finna say. And I say it's to Kwani. I talk to him all the time. He'll tell you. I say this, and he do it a lot now. I said I, I was telling Kwani one time. I said, man, look, you don't understand how much when you say happy birthday to everybody it means. Man, you don't think and, you know that? But hold up. Uh, he might know that, but I'm saying for people like you and I'm Bezel Gang. I'm talking. I'm talking to all the niggas. Stop that's, right there. Stop that's right. Stop right. Stop right. I'm talking to all the niggas. So, so y'all niggas need to start so going me, in no, and no, saying something no, on y'all no, Instagram. No, no, no. So let me ask you this. See, see, one of the main reasons I'm here. You don't know one of the main reasons I'm here, Pete. Tell me then. Man, we dance around a lot of shit. This yeah. this this platform been dancing around a lot of let, shit. Let, let, let get it. You know what I'm so like even <laughs> even now, I bring up Bells again. Why they not talked about? Enough? Like we when we get to when we bring, bring them up all the time. No, but we don't bring them up I mean, in the fashion they should be brought up. They I respect in their them. fashion. Like I let's keep it a hundred. So it so when okay. we talk to the top thing, cause see, like I said, it's 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 different criteria. Yeah. So now let's just talk Nashville. Okay. Let's go. Let's I'm just keep it in Nashville. I'm let's ready. Fuck who went outside. I'm, I'm ready. When we come to really shaking shit in that place. Okay. Who's your top? Fuck the four. Give me your top five of just shifting Nashville in ways like being that trendsetter. Give me your top five. I trendsetter. Can't get, I can't get. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. This. Trendsetter. So Give I'm me gonna, five. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something that's so real right now that it ain't even gonna work for me. I'm really a fan of all y'all. I ain't say a fan. I can't. No, I can't. I that's why I can't pick it. Like how you can't pick it, but you've been picking it, nigga. All I know, the shows I've I been know. watching. Well, look, 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 look. I'm a real pick it, nigga. No, I'm a real. no, homie. See, ain't nobody been on your ass like it's on your show, homie. I know. They just let you get I, off. They, they no, nah, nigga. <laughs> Who yo? It ain't no. I fuck it. No. You well, pick. If, if if you would say, we say just my talking top shit. Five. Nashville. We just Nashville. gonna keep it. We just gonna keep it the city. If 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 I'm going with this, if I'm going with all these. We ain't just talking out east neither. I said Nashville. It's so many. I can't, I can't. But you've been you having the wrong answer. person. Hold up, hold, no. You you've been me. having, homie. You've been having answers every I show have. and I your guests. I have. And, and I, I, like I said, I, I feel ain't like it's been a lot show. of dances. I ain't ready for that question. How you because, ain't ready for because it? Because I'm a fan of all y'all. You don't answer this goddamn oh, quick. Hey. Hold up. I got to Where my camera at? Where my camera at? Your camera right there. I got it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm too much of a fan. This is the part about Roy. It ain't that I'm talking. I'm talking to him. I ain't talking at him. I'm just like, I'm talking to him. 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 I
Let's talk it. They scared you know what I'm saying? You ain't scared of me. They scared of me. No, this just we got, got to talk. We got to do this right. But, and that's the problem. I can't answer that's the question. That's why I just say let's just keep it within the city. It's so gonna, it's, it's just it's, like it's, it's gonna be a problem because I can't answer that because because it's look, Roy, you ain't gonna look, you understand this, but you're not. And I'm gonna say this again because you just said this. You gotta think I'm a fan of everybody. Like, nigga, I'm goddamn big enough. To what you, it, to I'm what big enough, doof, Kwani, to what uh, all star, a fan, bug, hey man, jelly hey man, roll. A fan, I'm, a fan to what woo. extent? You you, a, you you point out the like, obvious. Exactly. I'm a fan to this extent. Get what? How deep do you go down when, to that when, hole, though, when, P? When, when it come to air with a boy, nigga, I'm a fan of this nigga running around here. He doing his motherfucking rap thing. This nigga throwing the biggest shows that Nashville. Nashville ain't seen no shit like that. This, you ain't this came nigga out on to. billboards. This nigga doing it. Then when you got Kwani, it's like, oh, he got the club. He, all right. Then you got the Bucks. He done shook got them in G unit. And then you got the Starlito grind hard. And then you got the Deuce. Got them in Deuce come with got them in some shit. Then you got the I can't pick it. It's it's um one thing I'm gonna say about Cashville. You can say what you want to say. We got the best artists in the world. This is what I'm gonna say. I believe it. This is what I'm gonna say. If y'all send one motherfucker through there, which you can, if niggas like you, Kwani, Star. Buck, Cub, all y'all niggas get together and say, you know what? We finna bring this shit in. See, it's y'all ego. <laughs> the bosses. It's all the fucking bosses, and you one of them. It's y'all ego. If y'all come together and say, nigga, you know what? We finna throw this shit over the, the goddamn market. This is what I feel. I feel one artist gonna get through, and all y'all shit just gonna bust. So I can't, I'm a fan of all y'all, nigga. I don't see, give a fuck. See, see y'all can't, y'all can't twist me up because I'm a fan of everybody and you nah, on my. No, nah, nigga, you just on the spot. You don't yeah, know your you goddamn man. Yeah, I just told you what, what I said. You nigga, about. fuck you mean, You just nigga. don't know your asshole. God damn. And that's all right. Yeah, but that's all right. I ain't got an answer. But that's something. I ain't got an answer on my show. But that's something. I ain't got an answer. But that's something you goddamn me gonna really think about. Like, damn, you goddamn it can't one. But I, but you know, and, and it's all fun, and it's all opinion, and it's all opinionated. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that, well, and, I, well. and I respect it at the end of the day. Yeah. But you know, shit just get thrown so loosely around here. Who's this? Who's that? And and all this and that. And you know, and you know, and it's cool, man. You know, Everybody my bigger feel thing like, is though. Um, my bigger thing is I like keep y'all fucking name out there. For me, y'all can say what y'all want to say. I'm gonna keep y'all name out there. Like my show. It's going to a plateau to where it's going to be. And I'm going to always hold it down for the Cashville. That's what, see where it said, don't never, I ain't going to never turn down Cashville, nigga. Y'all names always going to come on my fucking mouth. And I ain't going to never let no nigga come on my platform. And like, I just brag him because he's here, nigga. I got him here. I asked him for the interview. Mm. He didn't ask me for the interview, nigga. I wanted him because I see what he's doing. And niggas going to respect that. But look. We gonna look. Is, is anything you want to say to me or to the people before you no. go? Cause we love this. I this mean, shit. you know, it's it's one of them things. You know, you know, you fuck around, and see a part two of this. Yeah, shit. Yeah, it's going on. You this know is what I mean. This time, is what? time really fly. We had to, and I'm gonna be real, bro. I'm really long with it. I ain't been out, P. I ain't I know, been out. I, know, I ain't I know. been out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, it's good to be back out. You know what I'm saying? Your platform was one of those. You know what? It's time, and it's something, and it, and it got to be worth it. Uh, I have That's to see respect. something. I you, have to see something. You not gone. I've been inside, bro. But it's it, like I'm coming, bro. Like like you know, uh, doing that stretch of the Jesus shit. You know, I start cooking up with Drummer Boy. Uh, I got a project with Drummer Boy, and it fuck around be dropping. We probably gonna touch the summer, Let man. Me tell like you it's this. coming. You know what I'm saying? So Drummer, y'all know DMG was the first person that loved y'all and messed with y'all. Uh, shout out to Insane Wayne. R.I.P. to Insane Wayne, my guy, my brother, that's drummer, brother. Yeah. Drummer, we were the first one that messed with y'all. DMG. Yeah. We, 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 get what, drummer, you remember I used to cook? I, don't you remember I used to cook for y'all? So I just, I was with drummer yeah, and bucking yeah, them yeah, all the yeah, time, yeah. three, four, five times. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying, look, everybody, boy, um, if they haven't never told you nothing about me, I'm going to tell you about me. Tell me I have been the most solidest guy, one of them in Nashville, Tennessee, and the real niggas, you got to ask the real ones about me. You can't go ask these niggas this. You can't go ask the haters about me. Ask the real ones about me. But um, I respect, I respect, respect what you have done for the city. Uh, this nigga here, he's a pillow. And anytime he want to, his name can get hot. And you know no, that. It's coming. I'm talking about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, so, but, but, but so I will what, say this. What we expecting? 
oh, this project coming. Okay. This project coming. This project is coming. That's and like I and I'm in a space, bro, where it's like enjoy why it's happening. Cause I'm I'm gonna get I'm I'm going right back in the hole. Who won the verses? You a paper? See another thing. Hold on. See that's another thing. <laughs> no, that's I another did. thing. I no, no, no. I'm here for a reason. <laughs> just, no, I'm here for a reason. That's your question. I'm here for a reason. Okay. I was watching you a paper. Uh, okay. I was watching I'm you like, a paper that was interview. A good show. At five, great show. That was good. I was watching you a paper interview at five five thirty in the morning. <laughs> I hit paper in his DM okay. at like six in the morning. Okay, they said that. Somebody told me that. Okay. Go ahead. Now, you asking me that. Okay. But you ain't asked him. <laughs> I didn't ask him what? You I ain't asked him about the verses? <laughs> you, you, no, listen. <laughs> okay. So, Y'all man. dancing around. Listen, homie. Shit. Now, you can't dance around. Now, I, I'm not even... I'm speaking as a whole. Like, we got to quit dancing. I was saving this question no, for you. we got to quit. No, I'm nigga, I can tell by the look in your face. I'm you got to quit dancing. You okay. got on a versus with him and somebody else when the whole time he really had a versus. Yeah. You didn't ask him that. But that right. was important detail. That was really important That was important that's detail. detail. You. But you didn't ask him. And paper got on this motherfucker and hollered out, <laughs> oh, yeah, man, I ain't, I ain't rapped in a minute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you know, people try to get me out. You know, I ain't coming out. But... <laughs> Dude, I me and we and me and he was boxing, and, yeah. and he got back. In, he had to get in the booth and say something back, and that was recently. Okay. So don't. And I went in there fucking with him in the DM. <laughs> hey nigga, you forgot to say nigga that El wrote a boy made you get back in that booth and blew him. Man, respect, over you right, you yeah. right, yeah. Tight, Ooh, that, that, that belt he was talking, that, that, that belt he was talking about tightening up. Okay, he had to tighten that motherfucker uh, up. Yeah. Man, Roy not coming to play, man. Okay. And I think everybody know that when it comes <laughs> when it come down to it, I ain't saying I'm just. Out rapping every nigga around this bitch, <laughs> but niggas you. know how the fuck I'm coming when I come. Facts. And it's gonna take a little bit more than rapping. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. It's gonna take a little bit more than rapping. When I come, I'm coming, and I'm dressing it all the way up, all the way up and down. But who I think won the verses? It depends on what you was looking for. Hey, look. What, let me ask you this: What you look for in the verses, P? Before we get Bro, up off here. What I look for in the verses, I don't look. For, I don't really care about your song. You don't care about I'm the song. Mo- I mostly care about the creative. Of what you like, how you create your songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you might come with this, you might well, do this. Like, well, you know what I'm saying? I went on a podcast and went went uh public and saying if they was going off of the antics and all that shit, because a lot of shit happened wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Puppy Paper came with the crowd and he came with his, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it wasn't supposed to be like that, but in that aspect, it turned into his lane. Okay. Okay. It turned into damn near a club atmosphere. Okay. okay. That's paper lane. He holds that lane. Hold that lane. So if you was looking for that, that's what you get. Hey. So look. Salute we, to him. We going on record. We but don't if know you, who won it. We go for two. But if you basing it off song, like the fucking song, like if we would have just been in studio and just playing the records in the studio, without any crowd or anything. Yeah. This shit. That shit. We've been blown out the water. Oh my goodness. But. I was able, I brought it to a lane accidentally. I brought it to his comfort zone of what he do. You know, I, you know, that's, you know, I brought it to his comfort zone. And we had a great time, though. It was, it that was, was great. Good. Even in that, nigga, it we was, sold tickets to that shit. It was, it was good. We made about eight, nine thousand off at first. Look, look. We gonna hustle, homie. Look, you know what I'm saying? If you're a live subscribe, um, y'all, <laughs> this is the first show I've been scared. <laughs> God damn, this nigga went so hard on me. I, I, I fought back. Man, somebody got to check me I sometimes. I fought back. Somebody <laughs> said, yo, this nigga came to check me. Yeah. I thought he just said that, but I fought back, yeah. though. So yeah. if you're allowed to subscribe, be airborne, boy, you know, this going to be another two, three, everything. This yeah. shit better go. You know what I'm No, nah, but real shit, though, keep doing what okay. you're doing, homie. Right. It's, it's needed, bro. Right. And like I said, if I didn't feel like it was worth coming, I wouldn't be right here. But, and and, and, you know and I saying? want you to but, know uh, this shout too. Out to like what y'all doing straight up. I want you to know this too. Um, whoever you feel like need to be here, it's just like with paper when he left. I, I got a video with uh, I got one with D Strap. And mm-hmm. whoever you feel like need to be here, man, send them. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, just yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Don't yeah, never be yeah. when it, it, cause I because I I, like I, I, I I trust like you. Too. Like if you if you hit me, be like, hey, P, get such on there. It's it, it, like it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you touching. Yeah, you you doing a motherfucker, bro. Like I said, keep doing what you're doing. I let you know that, like, it wasn't just no telling you that for me to get here. I was yeah. telling you this months well, I before I even came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I you, you, I, I nah, asked you bro, so, like yeah. you, you uh, keep doing what you're doing, homie. Like, you know, we behind you on that. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? In the same way that you want us to 
subscribe and yeah. hit that button and do I this was, and do I that. Got to that. When somebody in the city <laughs> does enough I got it. for you just to pop out, you whether you know them me. or not, yeah. I'm gonna just buy a pa- ticket. Yeah. Uh I say this all the time. That's yeah. why I gotta follow by it. Support is in money. Uh, just because I know Eric with a boy, that don't mean when he brings somebody to be, hey, let me get in. No, I need to go in there and buy a ticket yeah, and get in there. And that's real talk 100%. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I got but I it. Su- like, I appreciate the other support too. Just the talking oh, behind me, talking, talking when I ain't in the room Thanks. and bringing my name up and shit. Um, I appreciate Qu- that too. Quanel tell you uh, 100%. I, that's why I, I, I like to say stuff on wax. I've always bragged on you. Yeah. I've always uh, lifted up what you've done for the city because I've been a promoter, you know what I'm saying? And with you just rapping and bringing sight on the city, what you're doing, nigga, that's motherfucking bigger than they can ever know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so I appreciate you for that, man. I, I really appreciate you for coming, like, yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. like, yeah. see, they, they understand this shit is exclusive. Like, you ain't going anywhere. Like, you're you nah. so particular about what you do, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. so that's what put me on another level that, that I can get air with a boy. And you niggas can't if you allow to subscribe. Ah! <laughs> That's a good way, boy. You a motherfucker. Man.